Tusa Gail Brown, welcome. Sister Daphne Edwards, I see you. I see your name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we're good to go. We're live. Welcome, welcome. God bless you. God bless everyone and a happy Saturday morning. Praise God as you join us on Facebook and those on Zoom. Welcome to the New York Metro District Ladies Thanksgiving and Prayer Service 2022 under the theme Victorious. Praise I God. Know. I'm going to be turning over now to Sister Isabella Val Valencia and she's going to be introducing Sister Alejandra and she is going to be praying for us in Spanish as she opens up this prayer and thanksgiving service. God bless you, Sister Isabel. Buenos días a todas en las que están aquí conectados, los que estamos aquí eh, por esta vía de Zoom. Dios les bendiga. Estamos aquí en nuestro servicio multicultural de, la, de las hermanas de New York Metro District. Y vamos a darle inicio a nuestra oración con nuestra hermana Alejandra que pueda ella dirigirnos en oración nuestra hermana Alejandra González con ustedes Gloria al Señor Gloria al Señor mira cuán bueno y cuán delicioso es habitar los hermanos juntos y en armonía vamos a orar y hacer un clamor y darle gracias a Dios por esa victoria de este año creo que la victoria más grande es que estamos con esa vida fortalecida en cada una de nosotras y vamos a orar padre gracias te damos señor por esta hermosa mañana Jesús que nos has permitido señor una vez más abrir nuestros ojos Aleluya. y darnos la oportunidad señor de guardar nuestras familias padre de dirigirnos sí. señor fortalecernos oh, Dios amado yeah. guiarnos con tu espíritu tener Aleluya. esa victoria en nuestras Aleluya. manos Señor de nuestras familias adorarte de nuestras familias también reconocer que hay un Dios poderoso Señor oro Dios Padre Dios. y doy gracias Señor por este año hermoso Padre que nos Aleluya. ha concedido Señor como damas oh Dios por New York Metro Padre las damas Señor que estamos aquí levantando manos Señor amado Aleluya. en victoria levantando manos victoriosas yes. Señor Aleluya. porque tú Aleluya. has sido nuestro Aleluya. refugio Padre usted ha sido nuestra fuerza Señor bendiga Aleluya. la vida de cada una de mis hermanas oh Dios amado mi Aleluya. hermana Hazel Dios mío su Aleluya. comité Señor Jesús a cada hermana Señor amado que estamos aquí levantando esas manos en agradecimiento oh Dios, por cada una de las vidas, Dios mío, por cada pastor, Aleluya. por cada iglesia, Aleluya. Señor, que concediste, Aleluya. Padre, esa fortaleza, Dios Aleluya. mío, dirígenos, oh Dios, cada día, a que más damas se unan, Aleluya. Señor, en el propósito, que más damas, oh Dios, estemos, Padre, frente, oh Dios amado, victoriosas, mi Dios, fortalecidas, Padre, siendo guiadas por ti, Señor, siendo fortalecidas por ti, Señor, bendiga cada una de las pastores, Dios mío, esposa de pastores, Señor, líderes, ministros, Padre, ministra, Señor Jesús, a las iglesias en general, a los comités de damas, Señor, que tú has permitido, oh Dios amado, levantar en este tiempo, Aleluya. Señor, con valentía, Padre Santo, a cada cada una en esta hora levantamos un clamor, un clamor, Señor Jesús, en agradecimiento, Señor amado. Estamos aquí, Padre, creyendo en que tú eres nuestro todo, nuestro refugio, Padre. Oh, Señor, aleluya. ¿De dónde vendrá mi socorro? Mi socorro viene de Jehová, que hizo los cielos y la tierra. Estamos en tus manos, Jesús estamos en tus manos Dios de gloria necesitamos Señor mantener esa fidelidad Padre necesitamos oh Dios estar firmes no desmayar sino que reconocer que hay un Dios poderoso que está siempre 
cuidando de nuestras vidas. Somos la niña de tus ojos, Señor. Somos esa niña especial, Dios mío. Mm. Esas princesas, Padre, que tú has elegido en este tiempo, Señor. Somos las hijas del Rey. Aleluya. Reconocemos, Señor, tu señorío. Padre, te damos gracias, Dios mío, por permitirnos, Señor, abrir nuestros ojos esta mañana y agradecerte por cada uno de los favores, Señor. Agradecerte por la vida, agradecerte por la salud, agradecerte, Señor, por cada uno de nuestros hijos. Oh, Señor, por las iglesias, agradecerte por el pan de cada día, Señor, porque tú, Padre Santo, fortaleces nuestra vida, nos guía, nos llenas con tu presencia, fortaleces, Padre, nuestras manos para que las pongamos en alto, Señor, porque es en alto, Padre, donde la victoria historia se puede mirar, donde podemos vencer obstáculos, señores, ahí donde ganamos, cuando nuestras manos están levantadas al cielo, reconociendo, Señor, que tú las tienes, Señor, a cada una de nuestras manos sostenidas, Padre, fortalece en esta mañana a cada una, bendiga a cada una, Señor. Y que más damas se unan a la visión, que más damas, Señor, se unan a este propósito, Señor, porque somos, Dios mío, ese remanente que has elegido, Padre, para poder, Señor amado, ser esa guía para otras, Padre, en el nombre de Jesús, en el nombre de Jesús, aleluya. Oh, sí, Señor, gracias, Padre, gracias. Aleluya. Gracias, 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 gracias Dios. Thank gracias, you. Dios. Thank Aleluya. Aleluya. Señor, 
Gracias, Señor. Gracias por la oportunidad, Señor, de esta mañana. Thank you, Sister Alejandra Gonzalez. Aleluya. Gracias, Dios. Gracias, Dios. Aleluya. Praise the Lord. Praise God in five towns. We love you, Sister Alejandra. I love you too. Coming on. We thank you for coming on. Praise God and all the praise Praise God from her church. So we thank her for opening up in Spanish. Hallelujah. I might not know Amen. every word in Spanish, but there is one word that's universal. Amen. Whether it be Amen. Spanish, English, French, or that. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Lift up the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Say amen. Amen. Have a she pray. Thank you, Sister Alejandra. God bless you. Amen. Amen. And right now we are going to be praying in English, and we have Sister Hillary Williams, and she is from Oneness. Pentecostal Tabernacle, my home church, and she is going to be praying right now in English. God bless you, Sister Hillary. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, yes, Lord, we glorify you, God Almighty, in this atmosphere, oh, mighty God. Amen. We thank you, Lord, hallelujah, for hallelujah. all your many blessings, God, upon your people, mighty God. Yes, Lord God, you are the God that goeth before us, mighty God, to fight against our enemies, mighty God. Oh, hallelujah, and to give us the victory, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus, we worship you this morning. We thank you for your presence this morning, my God. Yes, indeed, Lord Jesus, my God, because the cultural, Lord God, this district, oh God, try your service this morning. Lord, oh God, we greet your presence. Oh, si, we si, thank si, you, God Almighty, for this Alleluia. opportunity this morning, God, yeah. thank that you, we can Jesus. come si, before Señor you, Jesus, Lord, and we can lift up Dios, your name, most like God, the Jesus, God that, God. that Lord Jesus Gloria said, Gloria the God that delivers, the God that sets free, the God that is present, and he's right now, who has all power, and he's right now, who has all power, and he's right now, 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 and our very situations, my God, this morning, my God, we invite your presence, my God, to the fire, Lord, we pray that you will come down, that you will sit, oh God Almighty, in our presence this morning, my God, we pray, God Almighty, Jesus, that you will take full control this morning, Lord God, you are the God that give us the victory, hallelujah, Hallelujah. God Almighty, of this, Lord God, prior service, you will take full control, mighty God. You will have thine own sweet way, mighty God. Every prior request this morning, mighty God, every testimonial, mighty God, we put them in your hands this morning. Lord Jesus, we come to lift 
your name. We come to glorify you. We come to praise you. Hallelujah. As we pray, God Almighty, that Lord Jesus, whatever we ask will be according to your will today, mighty God. We God Almighty Jesus, that Lord Jesus, your holy presence will be among us in a very special way this morning. We pray, God Almighty Jesus, that Lord Jesus, oh God, our Lord Jesus, prayers will come up to you as a sweet aroma. God Almighty Jesus, to your throne room this morning. Have thine own sweet way this morning, God. We praise everything in your hands because you we know that you are our God. And Lord God, we can do nothing without you, Lord God Almighty. And Lord Jesus, oh God Almighty Jesus, we call upon you today. Hallelujah, we call upon you because you're great and you're powerful. Take full control this morning. Have thy own sweet way. Move, oh God Almighty, in our midst. Move in our homes and in our situations, in our families this morning. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you, God, for what you have already started in us. We thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do, mighty God, in everything today. Have thine own sweet way, Lord God Almighty. We thank you right now. Lord Jesus, and we pray that your name be glorified. We pray that your name, O God Almighty, ah, your glory be glorified. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in 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 the Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right now, we are going to go into some praise and worship. And Sister Anita Matheson from Oneness Pentecostal, she's going to be leading us in worship. And I, right after that, I'm going to turn the floor over to Sister Isabel Valencia. So, Sister Ingrid, have your way right now. In Jesus' name. Everybody, Hallelujah. I'm going to open with the words of Praise Psalm the Lord. 18 that says, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress. He's my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust. He's my buckler, the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from mine enemies. God is an awesome God this morning. Yes. And so we sing this song. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do, yeah. And I will search for all eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. Oh, there is none like you. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you. Hallelujah. And I search for all eternity, Lord. And I, there is none like you. He's an awesome God. Yes, he is. There is none like you. No one else, no one else, no one else can touch my heart like I do. And I can search, 
I can search for the Lord, Lord, and find there is none like you. There is none. There is none. There is none. There is none like you do you believe there is none like him this morning Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. he's the beginning and he's Amen. the end Amen. there is none like him glory, glory, he is glory, glory. none could compare for Hallelujah. he is the Hallelujah. Lamb of God Hallelujah. so we worship Lord. you Jesus we worship you O oh Lord how great thou art how great thou art from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same your name is to be praised Jesus Hallelujah. we acknowledge oh God that you are in this place you're in our individual homes God so we yes, lift Lord. up our voices yes, and yes, magnify Lord. you Jesus for you alone are worthy to be praised yes. You alone are worthy of all our praise, Jesus. We thank, thank you, God. Lord, thank that God. you are the Lamb of God this morning. Oh, oh Lamb oh, of God. Sweet Lamb of God. Sweet Lamb of God. Hallelujah. 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 Of the whole. Oh, oh, oh. Lamb of God. Wash me in your precious blood, my Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Oh, Lamb of God. Sweet Lamb of God, I love the Holy Lamb of God. Wash me in your precious blood. My Jesus Christ, oh, yeah. the Lamb of God. Now, you know, as we sing this song and as we think about the Lamb of God, we think about him shedding his blood. And, you know, it's because of how he shed his blood. We are able to come near this morning. We are able to draw near to his throne this morning for he's justified us by his blood so we thank you this morning for your blood your precious blood oh god that is able to cleanse us from all unrighteousness we thank you oh god for your precious blood that you shed jesus for your word said that you've adopted us you've grafted us in you've grafted us in lord that now we could partake of the root and the fatness of the true vine this morning we come with hearts of thanksgiving hearts of praise hearts of appreciation oh god for your goodness your mercy your loving kindness in our lives oh god your word said that if it wasn't because of your mercy we would be consumed but we thank you jesus for your mercy this morning so we sing again oh let of God, hallelujah, sweet lamb of God, I love the holy lamb of God, wash me in your precious blood my jesus christ 
the lamb of god my jesus christ the lamb of god jesus you were that perfect sacrifice to wash mm -hmm. all our sins mm -hmm. oh god for lord you said blessed is the yes. man to whom his sin is not imputed to him i thank you jesus that you've Hallelujah. taken away all our sins father lord i thank you that we were buried with christ in baptism and now we have risen in newness of life this new creature is risen in righteousness and true holiness i thank you jesus for your promises oh god that we, all things have been made new in our lives we are new creatures we are yes. creatures for victory we are overcomers now in Christ. So we thank you. We praise you. We honor you, oh God, for there is none like you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We come here to you, oh God. So we lift up our voices and we say, thank you. Thank, thank you, Lord. Holy Father. Jesus. Thank you thank for you, your Jesus. love and kindness. Thank yes. you for your sacrifice oh god for loving us Better than thank life. You for your everlasting love so we Hallelujah. praise you and we thank you oh god we'll sing this little celebration song it says when i think of the goodness of jesus yeah and all he has done for me, my soul Thank God for saving me. When, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, He's so too good, and all He has done for me, my soul cries out, Hallelujah! Thank God for saving me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. you, Sister. Thank, thank you. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We have so much to thank him for yes. this morning, ladies. So much. So Hallelujah. much to thank God for. Praise God. Praise God. I now turn over the floor to Sister Isabel. Yes. Thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God, ladies. The presence of God is here. Praise I don't know Lord. how you, but yeah. the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Is here. Yeah. Welcome. Um, uh, amen. Welcome to this multicultural cultural service under the uh, no. victorious, no. victorious, victorious. Um, we welcome every church that is connected, all the people that is connected by Facebook. I'm watching also by Facebook. I share it. If you have the opportunity, share it by Facebook. And um, we welcome section one, section two, section three. And we yes. gather together. The Lord is present. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Psalms 86, 9 says, Amen. All nations whom you have made shall come and worship before you, mm -hmm. O Lord and shall glorify your name. And I know that every nation right here and right now, um, amen, is glorifying the name of the Lord. Doesn't matter the language, like Sister Mitchell said at the beginning, I speak in Spanish, you speak in French, Portuguese, Chinese, whatever the language is, but there's just one name that is recognized by everybody in the whole world, and that is Jesus. Amen. That's right. Amen. So this day we're having a beautiful program, um, but above all, we have the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So, aleluya, gloria, Señor, bienvenidas, hermanas, a todas las que están conectadas por Facebook. Um, compártalo, está en la línea eh, para que lo más pueda, gente lo pueda mirar. Estamos bajo el tema de victoriosas. Amén. Cuántas victoriosas hay en este lugar. Y todo esto fue organizado por el Comité de las Hermanas de, uh, de New York Metro District, nuestra hermana Sister Mitchell, que es nuestra presidenta, y damos la bienvenida a cada iglesia, a cada representante, a cada sección, sección 1, sección 2, 
sección 3. Bienvenidos. Y como dice en el Salmo 86.9, todas las naciones que hiciste vendrán y adorarán delante de ti, Señor, y glorificarán tu nombre. Y es lo que estamos haciendo hoy día, glorificar el nombre de Jesús, no importa el lenguaje, no importa nuestra nacionalidad, hay un nombre que es reconocido por todo el mundo y ese es Jesús, Jesucristo. Amén. So, Amén. Bienvenidas. Welcome, everybody. Sister Mitchell. Praise the Lord. Thank God for Sister Isabel Valencia. She's our uh, New York Metro District Lady Secretary. Hallelujah. Very efficient, very passionate, and I just love her. Thank you, my dear. Thank you so much. Well, praise the Lord again, ladies. Praise the Lord. I see a whole host of women, over 60-something women are on right now, and they keep coming in. And we thank God for that, hallelujah, plus those who are on Facebook. Thank you and welcome, amen, amen. welcome to our multicultural prayer and thanksgiving amen. service. Amen. I believe we are closing out 2022 as a ministry the correct way. Amen. We are thanking God for a victorious year. Amen. Praise amen. God be my victorious yes victorious because you are here i you're in your right mind hallelujah you can hear you can see so we are victorious and we are also ending this year in prayer as we look forward to 2023 and what god is going to be doing among us praise god so i am so delighted to see you all ladies i'm seeing all three sections represented on this zoom meeting this morning not only from new york metro but we have ladies from out of state from out of out of this country from the west indies i'm seeing them hallelujah Thank you for joining those tuning in from the beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you for joining us on this Zoom meeting tonight. Praise God. And I want to let you know, ladies, our three sections, section one, section two, and section three, we are represented by powerful ladies of God. Hallelujah. And I'm going to introduce them as I go later on. But we are going to be intentional as a ministry. Praise God. Our desire is to reach all the nationalities that are represented in this New York Metro District. Amen? Amen. We want to see every nationality represented in New York among us. So we know that New York City in itself has an extraordinarily diverse population. It is one of the few cities in the country in which four different ethnic or racial groups make up at least 10% of the population. And this morning, we are just gonna present to you a sample of the nationalities represented here. We are gonna have testimonies and prayer in different languages, amen? And I want you to tune in, you might, but the Holy Ghost in us is gonna make that connection. Whether it's English, Spanish, Creole, Portuguese, you are gonna feel that connection. Why? We have the same Holy Ghost and there's no different Holy Ghost for the person coming from Spain or from Portugal, it's the same Jesus in us. Amen, ladies, hallelujah. So I would also like to greet you on behalf of Lady Joy Dawson. She is our district superintendent's wife, Bishop Devon Dawson. Um, I spoke to her uh, this week and she would have loved to be here to greet you because that's what we normally do. But she and her husband, they have to travel 
to another state to comfort some uh, a, a mother and father who lost a family member. So I'm asking you ladies to bear up Lady Joy Dawson in your prayer and in your prayers and Bishop Devon Dawson as they continue the work of the Lord by comforting somebody else or another family who is in grief. Also, while I'm on, I just want to um, do a little adverti ad advertising for women ministering to women. And I'm sure a lot of people have seen um, the, you know, the ads on Facebook, I'll be on YouTube ministering to women right here in the 17th of November to the 19th. And I was told that there is a room that's available right now. It's going at 129 per night. And if you are interested in going, you can connect with Lady Fiona Garrick. And also if you bring someone who is not saved with you, that person gets to register free. All right, but you have to notify Sister Garrick and the conference team of the person you're bringing before you get there. Now, ladies, this is a great opportunity to take your friend at work, to take your, your, your classmate, who you've been witnessing to. They don't want to come to the church house, but a lot of women love to go to conferences. So take them to the women's conference. You will, you will be gaining a sister once they get the Holy Ghost. Amen? Praise God. So at this time, I want to introduce you to some of the ladies that work in the New York Metro District Ladies Committee. And as I said before, we are divided up into three sections. And I'm so honored to work alongside these passionate, godly, and faithful women of God who comprise our committee. And I'm going to start off with Sister Isabel Valencia. And she is our New York Metro District Secretary. And I am telling you, I can call on Sister Isabel anytime, whether it be day or night, she will respond. If she's sleeping, of course not, but she's always there. <laughs> she's always willing to help. And you know, it's so good to be able to work with people who want to work who want to serve God. And I thank God that he has played in my life in the New York Metro District Committee. So Sister Isabel is now going to greet you. And then we are going to have Lady Gardenia Nunes. She's our section one representative. Lady uh, Reverend Janet Chonying, our section two representative. And Sister Janet Lawrence, who is actually at work, but she sends her love. And then we have Lady Fiona Garrick. She is our ministry consultant. So starting with Sister Isabel, and please come on, ladies, you know, right after one after the other. God bless you, Sister Isabel. So hi, everybody, again. Um, I know I can see a, a lot of faces uh, that I recognize. And uh, some of you, I recognize you um, not only by face, but also by, by name. And I'm so glad, um, praise the Lord for everything, all the glory to God. Uh, for me, um, it's a privilege and an honor to work for the Lord and um, a privilege to work with uh, Sister Mitchell. I'm learning a lot. <laughs> and um, I, just want to, I just want to say thank you to the Lord because um, everything that we do is because of him. Amen. And, um, I'm here to serve the or our Lord Jesus Christ, and to serve every one of you in every way that I can. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Isabel. Praise God. Thank you. We now have Lady Gardenia Nunes. Amen. Praise the Lord, sisters. I'm so glad. So glad to be here at this multicultural service. 
And we feel the presence of the Lord at this time. And I'm so glad to be here. Thank you, Sister Mitchell. Thank you to all the sisters. You're welcome. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Sister Nunez. God bless. And now we have Reverend Janet Chung Ying. Okay, we'll come back to, to Reverend Janet Chung Ying. I'm not seeing her. I, her I audio is not on. Oh, yes. Sister, Chan, uh, Sister Janet, you can turn. Uh, you can, you're muted. Because I see her, at the, I see her name, Reverend Janet Chung Ying. All right, but we're gonna move on and Reverend Chung Ying will come on um, later on. I know Sister Janet Lawrence. Um, she is our newly elected sectional three representative. And I had the honor of fellowshipping with her last week, Saturday, as we attended Sister Keisha, Sister Keisha Smith's um, Women's Conference. And I was so happy to meet her in person with actually this is, this is the second time. And we had great fellowship at Faith Apostolic last week, Saturday. Oh my goodness, it was so good. Not only the fellowship, but the food was out of this world. So it was so good to be with my sisters in the Lord last Saturday in um, Brooklyn. I don't know if Reverend Janet is on as yet. We go on to Lady uh, Fiona Garrett, who has been with the New York Metro District woman for years. She's a good friend. She's a confidant. I can go to her with anything. And she is the, uh, you know, our consultant for this ministry. And um, she's a great help. Uh, Sister Fiona, I don't know if you're on. Greetings, everyone. God bless you, ladies. It is so good to be in fellowship with you this morning. Uh, I'd like to give honor to Sister Hazel, uh, the head of this ladies' ministry, and uh, Sister uh, Isabel, and to all our sectional leaders, my Section 2 leader, uh, Sister Chung Ying, and all the wonderful saints of the Most High God. Uh, great is thy faithfulness. Yes, yes. His loving kindness is better than life. And yes. I want to thank God for his tender mercies. We are in a season of thanksgiving. And my heart is filled with gratitude because God has done so much for me. He's been so good. And I've been musing on this, this song uh, just this week. Tis so sweet yes. to trust in Jesus. Yes. Just to take at his word, just to rest upon his promises and just to know thus said the Lord. And I know that, you know, on this line that sometimes we feel like we can't trust or, you know, so many things have failed us or jobs have failed us. People have failed us. Relationships have failed, but we can put our trust in God. I'm so glad that I can put my trust in God because he's a trustworthy God. And yes. put our total trust in him. Uh, I, my husband was preaching a message last night and he says that God is a door opener. You know, yes. he can open any door that whatever man shuts, God can open. And whatever he shuts, you know, whatever mm -hmm. God shuts, no man can open. And yes. so I thank God for his faithfulness towards me. Ladies, it's so good to be in fellowship. And I love yes. what I feel on this line. God bless you all. God bless you, Sister Fiona. God bless you. Praise God. And we welcome all the ladies who have currently uh, come on. Thank you for joining us, all 70 of you. And, and, and it's growing every minute. They are coming on also on Facebook. Praise God. And we are praying that this little session here this morning 
would be a life changer. I don't know what you came on here dealing with. I don't know what answer you're seeking, but I'm praying that God will minister to someone this morning. God will deliver someone this morning, a testimony, focused prayer to minister to, to someone. So at this time, I'm going to turn right back over to Sister Isabel. And um, even before I do that, I just wanted to see if Sister, if Minister Janet is on as yet. I know she was having some. Uh, I'm on, but can okay. you hear me? Are yes, ma'am. Yes, oh, we're hearing goodness. you loud and clear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God is good. I'm actually yes. on the road. Praise God. Oh, okay. And I'm having technical difficulties, but I had to be on just to be a part of the worship. Praise Thank God. You. I'm so thankful to be a part of this prayer this morning and greetings to all the wonderful ladies, to our very wonderful, dynamic president who's doing an excellent God job. God Thank bless you, you Sister Hazel. Praise God. God. It's just exciting yes. to see so many people on this morning. Yes. God yes. is so faithful. God is yes. such an awesome, wonderful God. And prayer works. Yes, there's nothing more powerful than prayer, and uh, it's good for us as ladies to get together and just pray unitedly. Because when we're praying together, we're going to stand together. Praise yes. God! Yes. So I know yes. that yes. I'm excited yes. to see the diversity. I'm excited to hear the testimonies that are about to happen. God, God. is good. Yes. And I think our district, our ladies' ministry, has grown, yes. and I'm so thankful. For the yes. leadership that we have, God is good uh, and He's yes. faithful. Have a wonderful, blessed day. I will, I will continue to listening, but I you know I'm on the roll. But thanks be to God, I'm here. Thank you, that Reverend Chang. Amen. Amen. Bless you. We love you. We appreciate you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So right now I'm going to have Sister Isabel, and she is going to be introducing um all those who are going to be sharing their testimonies with us. She's also going to tell you where they're from. And we are going to have a wonderful time in the Lord as people talk about Jesus. It is so good to testify about the acts of our Lord, what he has done for us. Hallelujah. We're going to overcome by the word of our testimony. So Sister Isabel, I turn it over to you. God bless you. So praise the Lord, everyone, and once one more time, and we have the testimonials time. I think a testimony is is also for us when we have a testimony to share. It's so powerful because you can have faith, and yes. we know that God is working not only in our lives but everyone's. Amen. And for me, uh, I. Um, it's a, um, an honor to present our, our first testimonial is our sister Jacqueline Terranova. She is from Corona, Queens, Pastor Henry Andrade. Yes. And I know that she has a beautiful testimony. And I have the honor to see that testimony with my own eyes. Praise so, God. Um, sister Terranova, please share with us your powerful testimony. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. God bless everyone. Praise um, God. I, I know I had to speak in Spanish. I, I, have, I just want to say hi to everybody. Um, es una bendición poder encontrarme en esta mañana aquí con ustedes y poder compartir las grandezas que el Señor está haciendo y ha hecho en mi vida. Y me siento honrada de poder um, haber sido utilizada por el Señor y que pueda yo ser de de bendición para alguien en este día y quiero compartirle con ustedes lo que el Señor ha hecho, ha hecho maravillas en mi vida eh, de todas las bendiciones y milagros que ha traído en mi vida hoy quiero compartir una con ustedes um, um, eh, hace 11 años atrás uh, mi esposo y yo tuvimos nuestra primera princesa eh, la llamamos Sofía y um, um, es una hermosa eh, eh, hermosa niña, ya tiene 11 años, eh, pero desde el momento que nació, uh, mi esposo y yo me decía que queríamos tener una familia más grande 
Y um, ahí comenzamos nosotros después de que nuestra princesa Sofía nació a comenzar a tratar, ¿no? Lo que es normal de un matrimonio, querer tener más hijos. Y comenzamos a tratar, pero después de dos años um, quedé en embarazo nuevamente en el 2013 y de, lastimosamente el embarazo fue un embarazo etópico, el cual tuvo muchas complicaciones y tuvieron que llevarme de emergencia ya que um, hubo una ruptura y uh, tuvieron que remover parte de una de mis trompas, parte de mis órganos reproductores para poder, ya que eh, hubo, hubo una ruptura de, de ese embarazo, lastimosamente uh, tuvieron que hacerlo, pero gracias a Dios um, pude salir bien, Dios me guardó y me levantó nuevamente. Y con el tiempo um, quisimos volver a tratar, ya que nuestra hija nos quería, nos pedía, aún estando ya tan pequeñita, nos pedía que eh, quería tener una hermanita o un hermanito. Y quisimos nuevamente volver a tratar, um, pero pasó el tiempo y no podía quedar en embarazo. Entonces fuimos a especialistas, los cuales... Um, nos dijeron lastimosamente una noticia que creo que ninguna mujer quisiera recibir, uh, que fue que no íbamos a poder tener hijos naturalmente. Iba a ser imposible poder tener hijos naturalmente ya que uh, la otra trompa había sido uh, dañada, había sido infectada y no podía funcionar. Uh, por el procedimiento que había tenido yo complicaciones durante el embarazo tópico um, y no, no sabíamos eso. Pero nos dijo que la única forma de que podíamos tener hijos era por inseminación artificial. Y mi esposo y yo consideramos, ya que uh, nuestra hija quería tener una hermanita y nuestro deseo era tener más niños, Um, lo tratamos, fuimos a los um, especialistas, pero desafortunadamente era algo que era demasiado costoso. Costaba mucho dinero y íbamos a sacrificar cosas que podíamos darle a nuestra hija Sofía la bendición que el Señor había traído a nosotros. Y viendo todo lo que el Señor había hecho en mi vida, um, en, 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 en las sanidades que él había hecho, en habernos permitido tener a Sofía, nos dimos cuenta que nosotros servíamos a un Dios muy, muy grande y que servimos a un Dios muy grande, un, gran, un, señor, un Dios que, que para él no hay nada imposible, que todo lo puede y tomamos la decisión de no hacer nada con eh, estos especialistas y dejar todo en las manos de Dios. Le entregamos todo a la mano de Dios Dijimos, Señor, tú tienes el control y si de la manera como tú has hecho maravillas en, en nuestras vidas, si es tu voluntad, tú nos vas a bendecir y tú vas a bendecir mi vientre. En ese proceso um, que yo estaba uh, teniendo este, esta, esta noticia y esta decisión que tuvimos, una hermana me mandó un mensaje y ese mensaje, no, ya no sabía nada que, de lo que estaba sucediendo, pero llegó un mensaje a mí con un versículo y me dijo, hermana, sentí parte del Señor mandarte este, este versículo y fue en Deuteronomio, Deuteronomio 28, pero me especificó el 4, donde dice, bendito el fruto de tu vientre, Bendito el fruto de tu tierra, el fruto de tus bestias, la cría de tus vacas y los rebaños de tus ovejas. Y cuando yo leí ese versículo, habiendo recibido esta noticia de que iba a ser imposible tener bebés, sentí un, una palabra del Señor diciéndome que aunque el, el ser humano, el doctor, te esté diciendo algo imposible, para Dios no iba a ser imposible porque él iba a bendecir mi vientre como lo había hecho ya eh, anteriormente. Y así fue, entregamos todo en las manos de Dios. Mi hija Sofía, desde muy pequeñita, ella con su tierna voz, ella ponía sus manitos en mi, en mi estómago y decía, mami, tú tienes un bebé allí en tu barriguita. 
con, su, con su hermosa voz. Y fueron pasando los años y ella seguía orando. Y ella decía, mami, yo oro todas las noches y vamos a orar para que tú tengas un bebé y tú vas a tener una niña, decía ella. Yo voy a tener, que, que iba a tener una niña. Y la fe de, de nuestra hija Sofía era tan grande que no solamente ella oraba por una hermana, sino que ella decía, tú tienes una bebé en tu barriguita. Y así la palabra de Dios nos dice, tenemos que declarar con nuestra boca lo que nosotros queremos ver. Y para hacer, sé que tal vez no tenemos mucho tiempo, um, pero para la honra y la gloria de Dios pasaron a uh, unos cuantos años después de la pérdida que tuve en el 2013. En el 2018 eh, nos enteramos de que eh, íbamos a tener una bebé y aunque pasaron cinco años después de que nos dieron la noticia, no hay nada imposible para Dios. No hay nada imposible para Dios. Pude quedar en embarazo y en este momento tenemos una hermosa princesa que se llama Sara. Así como nos lo, nos lo dijo nuestra hija, tú vas a tener una niña. Eh, esta princesa nació, se llama Sara, va a cumplir ya cuatro años ahorita, el 14 de diciembre. Y les digo, hermanas, que aunque los doctores, aunque las circunstancias sucedan en tu vida, aunque te traigan malas noticias, para Dios no hay nada imposible, absolutamente nada imposible. Él puede hacer las cosas que, 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 que te digan que no se pueden hacer, Él las va a hacer. Él las va a hacer porque Él es un Dios poderoso, Él es un Dios que, que no hay límites para Él. Y así como lo hizo conmigo, en mi vida, en mi salud, en mi familia, así lo puede hacer contigo, hermana. Si tú nos estás viendo en esta mañana, en esta tarde, o cuando tú estés viendo este, este, esta grabación, hermanas, no hay nada imposible. El, el Dios ha mandado que nuestro vientre va a ser sano. Y yo le doy toda la honra y la gloria a mi Señor Jesús, porque Él fue, Él fue el que no solamente cayó la boca de todos esos enemigos que tal vez no querían dejar que, que llegaran bendiciones a nuestras vidas, pero fuera de eso le dio ese testimonio a mi hija Sofía de que tenemos un Dios tan grande. La fe de ella fue tan grande que a pesar de nuestras, a veces como pasaron tantos años, cinco años del saber si Dios podía hacerlo, ella seguía teniendo esa fe. Y nos habló a nosotros, a mi esposo y a mí, de que esa fe tenemos que tenerla. Así como un niño, dice el Señor, que tenemos que ser como niños. Y uh -huh. así esa fe la que tenemos que tener para que el Señor se glorifique en nosotros. La confianza tiene que estar en Él, hermanas. Y créanme que no va a haber nada imposible para Él. Así que, hermanas... Yo las animo de que sigamos confiando en el Señor, de que sigamos Amen. creyendo que para Él no hay nada imposible, hermanas. Amén. Aleluya. Amen. Amen. I, I want to tell you, amén, gloria al Señor. So I want to tell you, just in the brief words, Sister Terranova was sharing with us about her testimony. Um, she couldn't have, uh, she, had, she has a, a, a daughter. Um, her name is Sofia. But as you know, as a woman, we also want to have a big family. We have, we, we want to have another baby, two babies. And, and she tried, but um, unfortunately she, she um, had a miscarriage. But then uh, when she tried again, um, went to the doctors and doctor said, you cannot have more babies. Mm. And you know that the world, the doctors can say, you know, at, it, they can, They can have, they can give you, give us an answer, but we have the, the most beautiful answer from the Lord. He had yes. the last word when he said, yes. you know, we can't do it, you know? And, and then she was saying that after, after she was, you know, like, um, maybe no more faith or, or she was like, in, 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 her heart was in trouble having, uh, doubts. But um, her daughter, Sofia, was telling her, you know, mommy, I know that you can have a baby 
um, I was praying and praying. And um, after five years, after five years, um, she got pregnant. Um, her, her, her daughter is four years old right Amen. now. She's going to be four years old. And yeah. her name is Sara. And I know that the Lord give us the faith. The Lord can do all things. Amen. It, for him, it's nothing impossible. Amen. And I, doctors and, and everybody can say, you know, you can do this. But the Lord has the last word. Hallelujah. So we have Amen. also... Um, she was Hallelujah. Spanish. Thank you. Now we have... Important. Um, sister... Sister... Yes. Yes, um, Sister Isabella, ladies, I just got a word from Trinidad that we have some Venezuelan sisters in Trinidad wow. that are on this call right now on this Zoom or Facebook, and they are listening to your testimony, Sister Terra Nova. Their hearts are blessed all the way from Venezuela, Venezuelan sisters. Hallelujah. Spanish Hallelujah. sisters in Trinidad are listening and they are, their hearts are blessed by your testimony. Thank you. So, Tara Nova, for that powerful testimony. Conference this morning, who might be seeking to have another child and your testimony has encouraged them. Thank you, Sister Tara Nova. Thank you, Sister. Isabel Amen. for helping us understand what Sister Terra Nova was at. And even as the, um, I know Sister Isabel is going to introduce the other ladies, but if you can, after you have testified in your native tongue, fish, for some of us who might not be speak, who might cannot speak Portuguese, or Creole, we'd appreciate that. But thank you again. Thank you again, Sister Terra Nova. Turn it over to Sister Isabel. Amen. God bless you. Mm -hmm. so, God bless you, everyone. And now we have uh, Sister Sophia Aguedos. Um, I hope I was, um, I'm, I'm saying the right uh, pronunciation. And she will tell, tell us a testimony in Portuguese. And Hallelujah. I hope can translate it to us also. <laughs> Delighted with these beautiful testimonies. Amen. So, Sister Sophia. Amen. Praise God. God bless everyone. Um, okay. Okay. Um, the, the, I'm going to say it in Portuguese first, and I'm going to go into English. Yes. Thank you. Uh, desde quando eu era uma criança, eu estava in, in dentro e fora de terapia, mas era muito, muito, é muito frustração, então, porque nada cambiou, então, mas só, 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 só ficou em mente que, que tinha algo mal comigo, mas ah, claro que tinha algo mal comigo, eu, eu necessitava de, de Jesus, mas um, eu, eu, sab, eu, sabia, eu sabia que meus pecados eram horríveis em em frente de Deus, mas eu, eu pedi a Deus para revelar e para me, me, me dar perdão. Mas... E Deus falou, põe a tua cabeça em cima. E, eu, e, e nesse momento eu vi uma um grande luz que eu nunca... E nesse momento eu sentia coisas que eu nunca senti na minha vida. Eu, eu sentia paz e alegria no mesmo momento. que Isso era coisa que eu nunca senti em nenhum momento da minha vida. E eu sabia... Eu queria saber quem é este Deus com tanta misericórdia que, que agora meus pensamentos de depressão e suicídio não estavam aí mais. Então, eu, mas minha igreja nesse momento não tinha uma resposta para isso, porque então eu comecei a ler a Bíblia e o, e o livro de Mateus. E eu, eu com, quando eu leio os, um, Jesus falando com os fariseus, eu podia perceber que, que minha igreja no momento não era bíblica. Então, mas que me mandou ir fora dessa igreja, é que os pastores pensavam em a igreja inteira, os pensava que tu podias dar dinheiro a Deus, ele te vai te bencer, abençoar. Mas, e um dia o meu pastor me mandou para o altar e me deu um envelope e falou, tu, se tu pões dinheiro, se tu dás um sacrifício, Deus te vai ajudar. E isso era o final do dia para mim, eu, eu fui para casa e eu, eu orou e eu pedi a Deus para me mandar uma igreja. 
e, e menos de muito cá, cá, um, dia já pouco me, minha igreja de que eu estou agora o Olac eles estavam dando evangelismo para os, os serviços em português e eu chegou aí e um serviço de, de os jovens eu falou em línguas outra vez para muitos anos e eu fui batizada em um domingo mas Deus não acabou com milagres aí eu vi um, uma vez no meu trabalho eu estava eu tinha uma criança que que, que caiu um, um joguete na boca e caiu começava a cair sangue mas quando minha refa volveu para ver a sangue já se foi onde era como nunca passou e isso não era como uma vez mas duas vezes com duas crianças diferentes and um, mas o, mas o inimigo, ele mandou amigos falsos para dar, porque eu estava com tanta alegria, mas cada vez Deus usou meus pastores para me ajudar, para não deixar o inimigo. Mas Deus falou com, com tantas coisas específicas em frente dos meus pastores, que eu pensava, que eu sabia com certeza que Deus fala atrás dos meus pastores. E um dia meu pastor falou, vai para tua família e fala com eles para que necessitavam ser salvados. Eu fui para casa e menos de cinco dias, minha mãe foi batizada em nome do Senhor Jesus. E eu digo graças a Deus, mas mais coisas que Deus fazer fez primeiro, é quando eu chegou na igreja com, com um noivo e Deus mandou sair dessa relação. E eu fez, mas eu não sabia a significância porque eu não tinha, eu não estava com grande amor com ele. Mas o que Deus fazer nesse momento? Dá uma salida de uma relação abusiva. Porque desde quando eu era criança, eu precisava adorar relações abusivas de crianças e adultos, fisical e verbal. E a criança me mandou tirar, tirar minha mesma roupa de mim. E meu, quando eu não tinha um pai para pedir ajuda. E tá, quando eu tinha meu pai em minha vida, ele, ele me sentia conta, não prestava para nada, eu estava tão magrinha que tu podias ver meus ossos. E também, meu padrasto, eu não podia dar um banho quando eu queria só solids, necessitava endorar, mas que Deus fazia nesse? Que Deus me deu um, uma salida de um de um dia de abusivo, depressão e suicídio. E ele me deu uma salida e eu digo, graças a Deus, porque eu nunca sabia que ele queria me resgatar, mas ele fez. Glória And the translation. <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, Thank you. Ever since I was in, ever since I was a kid, I was in and out of therapy, and it was very frustrating because nothing ever changed. It just ingrained in my mind that I there was something wrong with me. But of course, there was something wrong with me. I I didn't have Jesus. Right. So, um, and so I I knew that my sins were horrible in the sight of God, but I still asked for Him to reveal Him Himself and to um and to forgive me and one day i one day he told me to lift my head up and i saw this this great light just in a brief moment but in that moment i felt joy and peace at the same time hallelujah something i've never felt in my entire life and and i wanted to know who god was i wanted to know who god was so i read the book of matthew and in between the exchanges of jesus and the pharisees it was i realized how unbiblical my church was But uh, what made me leave the church was that they thought that God could be bribed. So one day my pastor took me to the altar and said, if you give money in this envelope and sacrifice, God will bless you. And I'm like, this is, I'm done, I'm done. And then I went home and I prayed and I, I asked God, send me a church, send me a church. And, and just a few days later, Wolak was doing evangelism for their Portuguese services. And I knew this was the church for me. Hallelujah. And I spoke. And then on a, on a youth service, I spoke in tongues again for the first time in years. And then I was baptized on Sunday. And I wasn't done with miracles there. I remember at work, uh, there was a kid, he dropped a toy on his mouth and he started bleeding. But by the time my boss came in, the bleeding stopped. And this happened with not one, but two kids. And, wow. and then, um, but the first thing that God did was give me a way out of an abusive relationship because um, I had a boyfriend when I first came into church, but I didn't understand the significance of it because I was never in love with him or any man. So I was like, okay. And, um, but what God did was give me a way out of an abusive relationship for the first time in my life. Because ever since I was a kid, I had to endure 
what people did to me. I had, even from kids my own age, they, they would take my clothes off of me and they, and I had to endure f uh, verbal abuse too. And it's just, in my, when I didn't have a dad to run to for help, I, when my dad was in my life, he made me feel like I didn't work, I wasn't worth anything, that I had an eating disorder. I was so skinny. And then my stepdad, he just didn't even let me shower whenever I wanted in my own home, so. Wow. And, and when I had boyfriends in my life, they, they, they were all sexually frustrated because I wouldn't sleep with them. So it was just, I just, but God, when I first called on God, I had no idea that he had the intention of rescuing me from everything. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I'm just so, so grateful to him because I had no idea who I was calling on, but I, I praise God because he's real. Yes. And he has rescued me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Let's thank, let's thank the Lord, sisters. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Sophia's powerful testimony. Praise God. Our God is a deliverer. Hallelujah. And he can satisfy the hungry soul. Hallelujah. Yes, thank man. you. Thank you, Sister Sophia. Your testimony has blessed us all. Hallelujah. Turning back over to Sister Isabel. Thank you, Sister Sophia. I was, uh, when she was uh, speaking in Portuguese, I was getting half of it. Oh, okay. I was going to translate. I was, wow. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful language, Sister Sophia. And Praise thank you God. for your beautiful testimony. Um, Amen. Uh, God is good. God is good. Yes, yes he is. Hallelujah. So we have also um, Sister Rodeline Destin. She will give us a testimony in Creole. Amen. And, and I know that um, it's also a powerful testimony. And a sister Rolly, yes. I don't know if you're there. I'm ready. So we can we can delight um hear you your testimony. Sister Rolly. God bless ladies. God bless you. God bless everyone. I want to greet you all um in the name of Jesus. I am grateful to be here. Um Truly, I am. This is a wonderful work, and I want to greet the the board that put this together. Amazing, and um, spe a special thank you to Minister Janet, uh, my first lady, and uh, Lady Mitchell. Thank you for having me here and being a part of um, this conference. Um, I know I am to speak in Creole. I'm going to um, speak first, testify in Creole, and then I will translate in English. Um, I pray that this, this testimony bless someone and you know God be glorified. Praise God. Um I so Mvini uh Leglizana de Mildus um Mwe Soti Aiti and um Paramwe avec Maman Pabam Yoba Leve Yoba Gadi na na Leglis Yote um Yoba Kone uh Kias Jesi ye Yobat Kone Yobat Sevi Jesi but um no, 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 but in uh, 2012, I went to college, I met a friend of mine who was apostolic. And then in the um, ministry, the campus ministry, I received a biblical education. And then I talked to you about Jesus, I talked to you about who Jesus is. Um, I wasn't really interested because I thought I knew all that I knew about Jesus already. Because I thought I was in a family that was in the church, I considered that I was a Christian. Um, Léo fini, moi joint euh rivé en temps deux ans après ça en 2014 quoi. Moi vini à vivre la vie moi j'en voulais. Dès qu'on a fait fête, on fait une sortie avec des amis, on fait tout ça me gain pour me faire. Et puis frère moi vini malade. C'est dans moment ça me vini recevoir Jésus parce qu'il était possédé avec un, un mauvais esprit. Et puis nous pas de connait qui ça pour nous faire. So chaque um, chaque là esprit a manifesté il fait lui um, venir violent côté lui il tomber courir il sortir dans la rien 
en froid, il était sorti, il était machinement qui frappait lui. Jusqu'à arriver là, là l'école est um, venue en, en, en disturb, um, les disturbe uh, les le classes là. Hein. Et puis yo 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 pas de venir dans classe là encore. Um, D'ailleurs, c'était venu dans la situation, il était venu prendre un frère dans mes papa, il était venu prendre dans mes familles. Mais il était arrivé à voir Haïti pour être capable de faire un moment, jusqu'à ce que nous ayons une jeune solution. Et dans le même moment, ça, moi, je suis Jésus. Parce que c'est là, ça, ça. Mais moi, je me suis dit, je venu à l'église, là, en foi, et puis je me suis senti présent quand j'ai. Et j'ai besoin de présence ça encore parce que je me sens ici là, je me sens couverture, je me sens connexion, je me sens que je ne me pas de jambes senti déjà. Je me suis invité pour venir dans le service, je me venir dans le service de jeunesse dans le World of Life. Et puis, je me sens que je ne me sens pas de jambes senti. Donc, je me sens en position ça. Non, parce que je me trouve que c'est là, je dois aller encore. Et puis, je me suis dit, et puis, je me suis chercher pour ma l'église. Et je, ça, c'est juste ça qui a changé la vie. Je suis entré dans l'église, je me sentais bien, je me sentais normal, je me sentais confortable. Et après ça, je suis venu inviter l'église. Mon église n'a pas de connaître. Je suis invité pour m'aller dans le camp. Et après, je suis aller dans le camp, je me recevoir le baptême Saint-Esprit. Après, je me recevoir le baptême Saint-Esprit. C'est là ça. Je voulais dire tout le monde qui est un bon Dieu, bon, qui est un bon Dieu, um, sauver moi, qui est un bon Dieu, guéri moi. Et puis, moi, comment c'est témoigné par ma maman? En, en, en tant que ça, frère, moi, j'ai testé là avec lui en Haïti. Je me témoignais par lui, moi, dis-lui que j'ai un bon Dieu sauvé la vie, j'ai un bon Dieu renouvelé, moi. Et puis, il m'a dit pour prier avec lui. Je me prie avec frère, je me prie avec maman. Et de temps, je me recevoir bon Dieu, je prie pour lui, je prie pour lui. Et puis, li, comme ça, la um, maladie en passé, la maladie en n'est pas possédé encore. Elle vient ici um, en 2018, je crois. Les, non, il y a 10 ans, il est venu ici et puis il est venu à l'église et puis il est venu recevoir le baptême de l'Esprit. Bon Dieu, changé la vie, mais changé la vie parfois. Moi. Et je ne je dis pas que je ne dis pas que je ne dis pas que je ne dis et papa moi m'a passé pour moi prêcher bayo avec famille moi pour yo ka konnen ki Jean bon Dieu ça grand ki Jean li li merveilleux li li changer tout bagaille en nouveau et um, pa gen um, chaîne génération uh, uh, ou bien um, bagaille ki ki mare ou ki pa ka de, ki pa ka briser nan non Jésus non Jésus brise toute chaîne li ka pa bon cœur um, on 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 générationnel non Jésus qui a brisé les les capables de maladie non Jésus qui a brisé les pas gain un rien bon Dieu par affaire les guéris frère moins de maladie démoniaque là les guéris maman moins les guéris les guéris non moins les guéris tout moi-même et qu'on y a un cas campé un cas un capable de me déclarer nous sommes petits bon Dieu et puis me gagne Saint Esprit bon Dieu en dedans moi sauf peut-être ça un bail bon Dieu gloire un bail bon Dieu gloire avec la vie moi un bail bon Dieu gloire avec témoignage moi que tout le monde qui est capable de tendre moi capable connait qui est un bon Dieu, un sauveur qui a délivré, qui a sauvé et qui est capable de faire la vie au nouveau. Peu importe qui chaîne ou enchaîne, il est capable de délivrer ou il est capable de briser la chaîne. Et je vous dis gloire à Dieu. Donc, je veux dire, 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 je When I came to uh, to God, it was in in the in the lowest moment of my life. When I came, it was um, fast forward. I went to college in 20, 2012. I met a friend there through campus ministry, and um, she wanted to give me a Bible study, which I I I um, accepted later on after many attempts. And um, I did accept, and, and I did not know that was going to be the turning point in my life, and one one of those days she invited me to a youth service um some of you probably know of the conference um shockwave at word of life and it was that same conference that i came to i felt such a presence that i've never felt before and um i i did not know what it was nice. i grew up in church uh baptist church however my my family their background is not um, Christian. My, my parents were not always Christian. And even the ones that left their native uh, practices, they, they, they just left it just to, you know, 
it's not like they're devoted Christian, but my mom was the only person I, I knew growing up that used to go to church and pray and devoted, actually devoted herself. Um, but she did not know Pentecostal. She did not know about the Holy Ghost. I've never heard anything about the Holy Ghost. Right. But in 12, I, I had this friend that was telling me about um, who God is and who the Holy Ghost is at the um, campus ministry. And I'm grateful. That's one ministry that I'm really grateful for. Um, they came and they gave me the Bibles. They were very patient with me because I thought I knew everything I needed to know about Christ. So wow. they were patient with me and told me, um, you know, there's, there's this there's this person that can change your life. Um, it wasn't until two years after that I actually decided to go back there. And reason being is because at that moment, that year, my brother was sick. He got possessed. He was possessed with a demonic spirit. And I know wow. it's really far-fetched for some of you, but it's, yeah, it's these it's things real. are actually real. And um, he was the the thing would manifest in a way that it would force him to hurt himself where he um one 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 day he um it was manifesting and he took off running he was going to the street and i was really frustrated Jesus. we Jesus. couldn't find a solution we, we didn't we didn't know where to go um those in my family that prayed used to pray but it's, it wasn't anything that would break the, the that that stronghold over him and so eventually he was uh, being very um disruptive in school and so Dyfus was involved and they wanted to admit him and um so it's like uh and my I, I I did tell my my parents knowing that it wasn't anything psychologically wrong with them and right. so they decided to send him to Haiti um during that time that's when wow. I I was at the very like like last at, at the weekend. I was there and I was frustrated. And so I remember that very place I went to. Which I went to a church and I felt a presence. I did not know what it was, and I knew that's what I needed. And so I reached back to my friend, and my friend invited me back to church. I agreed. I came, and that very day I decided. I am going to leave everything that I know and I'm going to follow. Thank you. Um, the church did not know me. The people did not know me. But usually we have this camp, um, this annual family camp, and they invited me. They, they, uh, they, they were willing to take me. They sponsored me. Hallelujah. And I went to the camp. That's where I received the Holy Ghost in my life. Jesus. Jesus. Thank everything you, Jesus. Is. And so Hallelujah. I... I Oh, I, that's when I was telling my mom and I began to pray for my brother, began to pray for my, um, my family. And I was sharing with my mom that change, I, that, that joy I found in God. And um, just like that, I don't know how or what happened, but the Lord did a miraculous work. Hallelujah. Was healed. And when he came, that's the same very people that took me to camp, took him to camp. He received the Holy Ghost. He was baptized in Jesus name. And now we're both in church and my mother also baptized in Jesus name. So I'm praying that she will receive the Holy Ghost and my dad will follow. Oh, yeah. I want to bless the name of yes. Jesus and know that he is a saving God. And I praise God Hallelujah. today. God bless you ladies. God bless you, sister. Amen. Amen. Thank Beautiful. You. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hallelujah. God is worthy. You know, as Sister Rodine spoke, I was getting so excited. I didn't understand anything, but my God, the power in that testimony that God is able to save to the uttermost, regardless of what we're into, regardless of where we're coming from, God is there to save and he came to seek and to save those who are lost. So we thank God. And I I'm expecting a great harvest in the Creole speaking community. Sister, Sister Roydine, you have a testimony. Now God is, is, is looking to you to bring in all your other Creole speaking friends and family members into, the, in, 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 into his house. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Praise God. We turn back over to Sister Isabel. Wow. What a powerful testimony, Sister. Yeah. I identify yeah. with her because also somebody 
um, spoke to me and evangelized to me in 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 college and in it, it, everything it was so different when we know Jesus in our yes, lives. Yes, amen. Thank you, sister. And uh, yes. like Sister Mitchell says, you, something, girl. something um, the Lord is doing in your life and to give that testimony to, um, to, to everyone that you know. Amen, amen. So we have also Sister Keisha Smith that she amen. will tell us a testimony in English. And it's so wonderful to hear testimon testimonies in different languages it, because we really know that God hear our prayers it doesn't matter the language. That's the God that we serve. Yes. That's the God that we serve. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So, Keisha Smith, uh, sister. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise God. God. Just giving God thanks for his grace and his mercies, his loving kindness towards me and my family. And just to know in all what is happening, ladies, all in what is taking place within these times, God is truly a keeper. And in everything, I give him thanks. Amen. In Psalms 106, verse 1, it says, Praise ye the Lord. All give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes. For his mercy endureth forever. Amen. Amen. Praise yes, God. Yes, God. Amen. Thank you, Sister Keisha. Yep. That's okay. Thank you, Sister Keisha. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. And I know that God is a keeper in Sister uh, Keisha's life. You know, I've seen God at work, how he uses her, how he uses her family in the work of God. So we thank God for what he's doing, how he's keeping her. Last week, Saturday, we, we were, at, as I said, in uh, a faith apostolic. My God, what a time we had there as we fellowship with the sisters at faith apostolic under the leadership of Sister Keisha Smith. Praise God. Leading the ladies at faith apostolic, leading her home. You know, so God is using her mightily and we thank God for what he's doing in her life. Praise God. Um, at this time, we're going to be going into focus prayer. Praise God. And I know we are having a wonderful time in the Lord. You know, hearing these testimonies, it strengthens our faith. How many of you can say that this morning? Those yes. testimonies, you know, it strengthens our faith. It lets us know that the God we serve is real. Amen. So right now I'm going to turn back over to Sister Isabel, she will be introducing those who hang with us. This is the last mile of the way. Let us hang in there. Let us, um, you know, pray with the sisters that are coming on right now as we come down to the final part of um, this session. Sister Isabel. Amen. Hallelujah. So. We continue with this wonderful time that we're having in the Lord. And now we're uh, going to hear sisters that are so powerful. I know they're, they're um, those war warriors in prayer. And first we have our um, sister Janelle Mitchell that she will pray uh, with uh, for the youth. And I know that uh, she will um, lead us to the presence of the Lord. So sister Janelle Mitchell. Praise God. And by the way, that's my daughter. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. So glad to be here this morning and yes. praise the Lord. And, uh, you know, just grateful to be alive, grateful to be in my right mind. And I'm sure that after everything that we've all been through, you know, with COVID and readjusting to life and, you know, just life in general, just grateful to be here and to know that the God we serve is greater. He's stronger. He's yes. bigger than any situation we have. And as we could tell by the testimony that was just given, we know that our God is able. We yes. know that our God, he's equipped. He knows what to do. He knows how to do it. He knows when to do it. Yes. And you know, this is um, a very special prayer point for the youth. Um, I know that whether we have children, whether we work in schools, whether 
extended family, what have you, you know, I'm sure we all have a youth, a young person in our life. And um, this morning, as we go into prayer together, um, I ask that we just kind of focus maybe whether it's on our youth group, whether it's on a child, whether it's uh, an extended family member, a student, what have you, that we just make this focused prayer and let's keep in mind a particular youth that maybe you know we want to see whether they want need them to be saved, healed, delivered, set free, whatever it is, and just keep in mind that our God <laughs> is able. Amen. 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 All right. And um, just before we even start, you know, this scripture in Jeremiah, I think a lot of times, sometimes the issues, and you know. I guess technically I'm not in the young person or young people category anymore, but um, you know, a lot of issues stem from identity, knowing who you are, knowing who you belong to, knowing that you have a purpose. And Jeremiah talks about before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart, I appointed you. And this morning, as we go into prayer, let's focus on identity, you know, praying that our youth will remember whose they are, that they're a chosen generation, that they're a royal priesthood, a holy nation, that they're part of a peculiar people. Let's pray about the identity portion. Also, let's just pray for strength, strength in their minds. Um, a lot of times, you know, when we see youth, we think of abundant energy. And while they do have it, they also go through some really really big issues, really big problems, things that they may not have the strength or the know-how to deal with themselves. But let's pray that they would always turn to God in those moments where they need that strength to stand up and to be themselves. They need that strength to be able to say that I'm holy, that I'm set apart, that I'm different. So this morning, we wanna keep in mind identity. We wanna keep in mind strength, strength in their minds, strength in their hearts. And also we want to keep in mind that they have a future. You know, sometimes when you're young, you know, all you see is I have many, many days ahead of me and, you know, life will be here tomorrow and the next day after that. But um, knowing that we have a future that God has intended for us a purpose, a future, um, let's keep those points in mind. So we're gonna start in prayer. And um, Lord, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for this platform, God, where we can come together, that we can pray, God, that we can lift our voices together to you, Jesus. God, we thank you, Lord, for who you are in our lives. We thank you that you've proved yourself over and over and over again, God. Your word says that I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. David said he was young, but now he's old, God. And we know that your promises are true. Your promises are sure. God, you've called us for a purpose Lord, you have a purpose for us, God. Lord, more than just existing, God, you have a purpose in mind for our lives, God. God, I pray that you would help us, oh God, to truly be mentors, oh God, to our youth, God. Help us to truly stand in the gap for them, God, to remind them that you created them with a purpose in mind, that you love them, that you want the best for them, God, that you, Lord, know the thoughts that you think towards them, that they'll, they're good thoughts, God. Lord, even right now, God, I pray, God, for our youth, God, those who are saved, those who are yet to be saved, God, those who need need you, God, those who need to know, God, that their life is more than just getting through a day, God, but God, that you have a real, a very real and very true, oh God, purpose, oh God, a very real and very true purpose for their lives, God, that they weren't born by accident, they weren't born by mistake, God, but Lord, you knew, God, that when they were born, that when they were formed, God, that there was something special, something great that you had in mind for their lives, God. Lord, I pray, God, that you would help us all to be sensitive, oh God, to the needs of the youth in our life, God, whether in our church, whether in our homes, God, wherever they are, God, I pray, God, you would help us to have that spirit of wisdom, discernment, God. Help us, oh God, give us the right things to say, God. 
Give us the right things to say, Lord. Help us, oh God, to truly, Lord, be the, that example for them, God. Be that person, that mother, God, that mentor, God, that leader, God, that they need in their lives, oh God. Lord, I pray, God, that you would heal, God, every broken relationship, God, whether it's between mothers or parents and their children, God, whether it's at the church, wherever it is, God, I pray, God, that you would truly mend and you would heal, God, broken relationships, God, that you would bring them back together again, Jesus. Oh, God, this morning, God, I know that you are more than able, God. God, I know, God, that you are more than able, God, and that when it seems bleak or hopeless, God, that, Lord, you are there, God, that you are there, God. Lord, even right now, I pray, Jesus, that you would help us, oh God, that you would truly help us, Lord, to stand in the gap for our youth this morning, God. Those, oh God, who don't know, God, that you created them intentionally, God, I pray, Lord, that your love, Lord, your peace, God, your truth, God, would surround them, God. Lord, even right now, God, we know, God, that even our youth, oh God, that they sometimes grow weary, God, but God, you give strength, oh God, and we know, God, that you're able to strengthen their minds, strengthen their hearts, God. Lord, help them, oh God, to know that they can make it, Lord. That Hallelujah. He and that the same would be saved, God. That when the world tries to come in and tell them who they are, God, that they would be reminded that they are children, sons and daughters of the King, God. That when the world comes in and tries to tell them that they can't make it, Lord, that suicide is the only option, God, that oh, substance okay. abuse is the only option, God. Help them, oh God, to know that they can look to someone greater, someone yeah. stronger, yeah. someone who's able to carry them, God. Lord, even right now, God, you know the battles they face, God, even if they don't say it, God. You know the battles that they face, God, internally, God, in their mind, God, in their heart, God. I pray, Jesus, that even right now, God, that they would look to you, God, their strength, look to the hills, God, for whence cometh their help, God, that their help, it comes from you, Jesus. Oh, God, we bind, we curse every lie of the enemy, God, every lie God, that, yeah. that they can't do it, God, Lord, but Lord, instead, your word says that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you, oh, God, Lord, for those of us that have been placed in their lives, oh, God, that we can be a source of encouragement, Lord, that we can remind them that the joy of the Lord is their strength. God, even right now, Lord, we come to you. We look to you, Jesus. Oh, God, help us, oh, Lord, to remind them, oh, God, that they have a future in you, Jesus, that they have a future in you, God, oh, God, that their future is not only, God, the wealth and the things that they may build up here, but, God, there's a very true hope, God, that there are promises, oh, God, that you have in store for them, God, but help them, oh, God, to stay the course, God, help them, oh, God, to stay connected to you, Jesus, help them, oh, God, to stay connected to you, God, oh, God, that even, Lord, when it feels hopeless, God, when it doesn't look like God, there's much in sight for them, even when it doesn't look like there's not a whole lot to look forward to, God, but that they would know that in you, God, that there is so much, Lord, so many things, God, oh, God, that they would taste and see that you are good, God. That, Lord, they would know, God, that there's so much more to this life, God, more than what they see, God. But help them, oh, God, give them that desire, Jesus, to search for you, God. Lord, give them that appetite, Lord. You said that they that hunger and thirst after righteousness would be filled, Jesus. God, give them that appetite for you, God. Give them that appetite, Lord, that desired, Lord, to want to stay close to you, God that desire, Lord, to stay, God, to remain, Lord, God, Lord, to know that you're with them, that you're fighting for them, God, that you're there, that you're there, Lord, help championing them on, God, letting them know that they can make it, Lord, that they can do this, that they can walk this walk, God, 
that, Lord, nothing is too hard for you, God, that you're not only able to save them, God, but you're able to keep them from falling, God. Lord, I thank you, Jesus, for this opportunity that we can come together, Lord, and just really, God, encourage each other, God, that we could lift our voices to you, God, but also know that when we leave this place, God, that you are doing miracles, God, that when we leave this place, God, that you're changing things, God, that, Lord, you're changing things in the lives of our youth, God, you're shifting. God, you're changing situations, God. You're turning their lives around, God. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing our cry, Lord. We thank you for attending, Lord, to our earnest prayer. God, we thank you that you have heard the desires of our heart, God, and we put Lord, our trust in you, our hope, God, our confidence is in you, God, for we know, God, that you will not fail, God, that you never fail, God. In Jesus' name, in your precious name, your holy, your saving name, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my firstborn. God bless you. Love you so much. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Powerful prayer for our youth. Praise God. Thank yeah. you, Sister Janelle. It was a powerful prayer. And we know that the youth need prayer. You yes. know, once I was also a, a, a young a girl. And we have also orange pineapple. Uh, ginger pineapple. Ginger pineapple. We, we also have our own battles. And I know the youth also need prayers. We are they, the youth is not the future but the present of the church. That's so right. we need to pray for them. We need to pray yes. for them. Thank you, sister. Um, yes. so now we have sister Andrea Thomas that she will um I will pray for the singles, and also sister Andrea is her um Sunday school director from New York Metro District. Uh sister Andrea. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Good Greetings morning. to Sister Mitchell, Sister Valencia, and the leadership team of the Ladies Ministry. Greetings. God to all bless you. <laughs> Greetings to all the ladies who have joined us this morning. Yeah. I just want to let you know that we serve a multi-dimensional, multi-talented, immutable God. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and um, before I pray. <laughs> wanted to leave a just a few words with everyone um, i just wanted to, to let you know that we don't need an angel to tell us that we live in critical times right the times that we are in are indeed the last days yes second timothy says people will only love themselves and their money they'll be boastful proud scoffing at god Yes. 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 Disobedient to parents, ungrateful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Will consider nothing sacred, and mm -hmm. you know we don't need we don't need um, a GPS to tell us mm -hmm. that it's the times that we're living mm -hmm. in, and we do not need a prophet to come and prophesy mm -hmm. about the time that we're living in. It's very evident. Amen. Amen. Um, and indeed, this scripture is being written in real time. So, with that being said, the Christian needs to be alert need to be watchful because it's easy to be caught up in life doldrums, primarily when you're single. We can be so focused on going to work and church and school and making that money that we miss the most important part of making Jesus the center of our lives. Ephesians 6, 14 through 17 says, stand therefore having your, your loins girt about with truth and having the breastplate, breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, take in the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Ladies, we must remember that we are deployed and that all good and as all good soldiers, we must be ready for battle. We cannot afford to be idle and do nothing. We must have the proper gear on we must stand waiting for the signal to fight. We must stand firm in holiness and righteousness and holding our ground against the adversary's agenda. We cannot waver in our faith and we cannot be swayed by the times. Sometimes I know that the adversary wants to 
let us know that, you know, that we are in the minority. But the Bible says where two or three are gathered together in his name, we are in the majority. Amen? Amen. Amen. God is calling us to a higher plane and a higher walk with him. He's calling us to a more profound state of holiness, boldness, godly character, and integrity. He's calling us to walk in anointing and, prof and a profound realm of glory and fervency in his spirit, which will lead to a deeper understanding and a deeper relationship with him. And so with that being said, let us pray in Jesus' name. Lord, this morning we come before you. We know that you are well able. We know that you are a God who's equipped to see us through. We know that, Lord God, that you are with us from the beginning and you will be with us until the end. And so this morning we worship you, God. We worship your holy name. We thank you for this day, this beautiful day you have given us. We appreciate you, God, because we know, Lord God, that in you we live, we breathe, we move, we have our being. This morning as we come before you, God, I'm asking Lord God to wash us and cleanse us. Lord God, it is not by might, not by power, but by your spirit, saith the Lord. And so this morning, we come before you this morning because we know that you are a God who will see us, who are God who will cover us. You are a God, Lord God, who will take care of business. And so this morning, Lord God, we have a few requests, Lord God, I'm praying on behalf of our singles this morning. God, I pray, Lord God, you help us to guard our hearts. The scripture says, for, if we guard our hearts, out of it are the issues of life. Help us to guard our hearts, Jesus, that we may, Lord Jesus Christ, be sober in these end times. Help us to draw closer to you through prayer and fasting. Help us, Lord Jesus Christ, that we will not be weary in well-doing, but we will reap if we faint not. Help us to find joy in serving you, God. For it is in you, Lord God, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Help us to stand firm in holiness and in doctrine. Lord God, when so many people are falling in this end time, help us, Lord God, to remain faithful, Lord Jesus Christ, to the fundamentals of the gospel. Help us to trust you, Lord God, to trust your timing and your plan. Help us, Lord God, that we will focus on fulfilling the call of you in our lives. Lord God, it's not just about the routine of life, but help us, Lord Jesus Christ, that we will listen to your voice Oh God, and fulfill the calling of our lives. Help us that we'll find purpose in our walk with you. Lord God, that you will guide us, that Lord God, you'll be our sustainer, that we'll walk, walk daily, Lord God. Lord God, as you have called us to walk, Lord Jesus. Help us to know that God, if we focus on you, that you'll bless us in due season. Lord Jesus, help us to bless others as you bless us. Give us a spirit of resiliency, Lord God, that, Lord God, when life knocks us down, we will bounce back, Lord God, and depend upon you. Give us a spirit of being steadfast, Lord God. Lord God, we will steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Lord God, help us, Lord Jesus Christ, that we will, Lord God, find work in the kingdom to do, that our hands will not be idle. But, Lord God, we will do, Lord Jesus Christ, the work, Lord God, you have commissioned us to do. Help us, Lord Jesus Christ, that we will be, Lord God, ready to fight at a moment's notice. God, help us, Lord God, to have the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, our feet shod with preparation of the gospel of peace, that, Lord Jesus Christ, we will have a word, Lord God, in due season for those, Lord God, who are lost. Lord God, those who, Lord Jesus Christ, who need, Lord Jesus Christ, to hear, Lord Jesus, just like how you led our young people, Lord God, to those, to the people, Lord God, the church, Lord God, to find you. Help us, Lord God, to be that light, Lord Jesus Christ, that we can, Lord God, be a light in due season. I pray, Lord God, you give us a made-up mind, Lord God, that will make up our minds to stand firm, Lord God, in the, in the last days. Lord God, when everyone around us, every, everything around us is crumbling, help us, Lord God, to stand firm in you, knowing, Lord God, that, Lord God, the plans that you have for us, Lord God, is, are good. They're not evil. And Lord Jesus Christ, know that your mercies, Lord God, will ever be shining through us. God, I pray, Lord God, that you help us to be reassured in you, that, Lord God, even if, Lord Jesus Christ, we don't, Lord God, trust ourselves, that we will always trust you. I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that in this season that we are in, that you help us, Lord God, to be grateful and to optimize, Lord Jesus Christ, our relationship with you. 
God, I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, for our leadership. I pray, Lord God, you continue, Lord God, to guide them. Continue, Lord God, to sustain them, Jesus. I pray, Lord God, you give them, give them strategic thinking, Lord God, to deal with the issues of today, Lord God, because, Lord Jesus Christ, you're a God, Lord God, who's practical. You're a God, Lord Jesus Christ, who is willing, Lord God, and able to help us when we ask for help. God, I pray this morning that you help us, Lord Jesus Christ, to surrender everything to you. Help us, Lord Jesus Christ, that, Lord God, even, Lord God, when we are confused and we do not know what to do, help us, Lord God, to surrender everything to you. For we know that you are able, you're well-equipped to help us, Lord Jesus. You're well-equipped to guide us, Lord God, because you know what's best for us, Jesus. Even though we cannot see sometimes, you know what's best for us. I thank you, Lord God, for hearing my prayer this morning. I thank you for reassuring us in our faith that, Lord Jesus Christ, that, that we can depend upon you, that we can trust you. I thank you, Lord God, that we know, Lord God, that, Lord Jesus Christ, even if, Lord Jesus Christ, we don't, Lord God, get our prayers answered at this moment, that you know what's best for us. Have your way, Jesus. Guide Amen. us and guard us in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Pray, Lord God, this morning that, Lord God, we will trust you. Lord God, we will trust you, Lord Jesus, to know, Lord God, that, Lord God, whatever plans you have for us, Lord God, they're good plans. They're plans, Lord God, that will prosper us. Plans, yeah. Lord Jesus Christ, that will bless us. Plans, Amen. Lord God, that will guide us, Lord God, to the purpose that you have pre-written from the foundations of the world. Cover us under your blood in Jesus' name. Help Amen. our singles, Lord God, to fall on you and to trust in you. Trust in the Lord and do good. And in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. I pray this morning, Lord God, that you bless us again. Thank you for hearing this prayer, God. Thank you for being our sustainer. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's thank him for the, that prayer that was offered up on behalf of our singles. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Sister Andrea. Praise, praise God, Reverend Andrea Thomas. Thank you for that prayer. Praise God, Sister Isabel. Thank Hallelujah. You. Thank you, Sister, uh, for this uh, prayer. Like she said, we are. You're muted, Sister Isabel. <laughs> so thank you, Sister. Uh, for this uh, powerful prayer that she, yes. like she sister, uh, told us this is the end times and this is the time to turn to God and the prayer is the key. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, sister. So also we have um, sister um, Roblin Destin that she, she's, um, um, uh, she will pray for the apostolic woman and she will pray in Creole. So, Sister Rolling, Destin. Praise God. Praise God, ladies. Hallelujah. Mais où choisir nous, où retirer nous dans sa santé qui pas de bon, où mettre nous dans parmi monde sauvé et nous disons merci je dis. Nous disons merci avec gratitude. Nous disons merci avec tout que nous cherche Seigneur Dieu. Nous disons merci pour privilège ça. Nous disons merci parce que c'est bon Dieu, c'est bon Dieu créé, ou c'est bon Dieu vivant, ou c'est bon Dieu qui régner pour tout temps. Alléluia. Nous bénissons, nous disons merci Seigneur Dieu. Papi chéri, nous venons devant vous et nous présenter femme de prière devant nous, présenter femme apostolique devant vous, moi-même inclus, moi présenter nous toutes là devant vous. Je dis à Papi chéri, nous disons merci parce que c'est Dieu qui vivant. Nous prions au Papi chéri pour capable bénir nous de nouveau, baptiser nous de nouveau avec un grand goût pour l'amour, pour un grand goût pour servir avec un fervent, pour un grand goût Papi chéri pour nous capable 
aller et servir tout peuple là pour capable prêcher parole ou pour capable dire qu'ils ont grand pour capable témoigner grandeur pour capable lever non pio alléluia papi chéri nous prions pour un cœur nouveau nous prions pour un cœur alléluia qui qui um, qui pour qui besoin de um, servir ou un cœur qui reflète ou même avec grâce ou encore qui reflète sainteté ou nous prier au capable de nettoyer nous changer nous purifier nous cher Seigneur Dieu laver nous restaurer la vie nous papi chéri fais nous en en façon que nous capable faire plaisir mettez nous en façon que nous capable bénir nous papi chéri au capable bénir dans toute ça n'a fait dans toute ça dit dans conversation nous yo dans gens nous marcher dans gens nous parler pour nous capable bénir ou papi chéri Dieu nous disons merci jeudi hein. nous bénis nous nous bénis nous bénis présence nous nous disons merci papi dans le nom de Jésus dans le nom de Jésus papa à nous prier au papa au capable de lever homme une femme de Dieu qui est capable de servir ou avec um, humilité avec intégrité ou est capable de servir ou avec toute sa dans ou en lever fille qui est capable de camper dans prière capable de camper um, entre uh, dans dans gap là pour nous capable prier pour moun qui besoin pour moun qui besoin en um, délivrance jeudi hein papa nous prier au capable mettre parole dans bouche pour nous capable prier ou et non on va bénir et non on va glorifier dans le nom de Jésus dans le nom de Jésus Lord I pray today that you will raise oh God godly women spirit filled women today God in the name of Jesus God I pray that we will live our lives uh, hallelujah God uh, pleasing you serving you God I pray in Jesus name God uh, that you will bless oh God uh, the works of our hands I pray for a holy hunger Lord uh, hallelujah to pursue after you to serve you God I pray today uh, in the name of Jesus uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, I pray, help us to be teachable, help us to be, oh God, uh, hallelujah, God, uh, palpable in your hands, Lord, I pray today, God, uh, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for wisdom, I pray, God, for knowledge, I pray, Lord, uh, hallelujah, that you will cover us, strengthen us, Lord, uh, hallelujah, God, you've chosen her. Uh, the women on, on this call to serve, oh God, and you, you've chosen every single one of us, uh, God, among many others, Lord, uh, it's a privilege to serve you, it's a privilege, oh God, uh, hallelujah, to call on the name uh, that saves, to call on the name that is above every name, uh, God, I pray that we will not take it for granted, I pray, Lord, that we will give us ourselves, uh, we will give, oh God, our minds and body wholeheartedly, Lord, in everything that we do, uh, God, that our works, uh, Lord, that our prayers, Lord, that, oh Lord, our services will bless you, will please you. I pray today for every single person on this call. God, I pray even for the leaders, the ladies, mighty God, that you've anointed to serve and lead, oh God, this department. God, I pray for them that you will um, bless them, Lord, uh, as they impart, oh God, in every single one of, the, of us. Uh, Lord, I pray, God, uh, that you will give them the wisdom lord uh, for every situation that they may find themselves and that you will give them the wisdom lord i pray today uh, in the mighty name of jesus god get the glory in our lives uh, get the glory in everything that we do lord uh, in jesus name i pray uh, father i pray today uh, Hallelujah, God, for the young, the older um, women among us, Lord, I pray that you will strengthen us, uh, God, that we will learn to pull the put the full armor, oh God, uh, hallelujah, Jesus, that, oh God, we will withstand uh, the wiles, the evil, God, uh, of the hour that we will withstand, Lord, uh, the temptations, oh God, of the day, oh, the day in the name of Jesus, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, uh, when there's my Lord, everything that's pulling us from this world, uh, the distraction, oh God, of this world, Lord, I pray that you will preserve our hearts uh, god that oh, we will yeah. not be deceived uh, preserve no. god uh, help us not to be distracted lord uh, i pray 
pray, oh God, hallelujah, for what seems like prosperity to us, Lord, uh, that we will not drop, oh God, the things, uh, hallelujah, of the kingdom to pursue, Lord, uh, hallelujah, Jesus, after the things of the flesh, uh, Lord, I pray today in the name of Jesus, uh, that your name be glorified, uh, that your name, oh God, be lifted up, Lord, uh, I pray in the name of Jesus, uh, that our lives be testimonies, God, uh, for oh. those that see uh, those that don't know you, Lord, hallelujah, Jesus, uh, God, uh, that even the very Lord, uh, outfit, God, even it's not in the appearance, but Lord, I pray, uh, hallelujah, Jesus, uh, God, that which is within us uh, will appear on the outside, uh, God, I pray that we will be godly women, uh, Lord, that we will serve you, God, wholeheartedly, uh, Lord, that we will give ourselves uh, completely uh, to you, Lord, for your service today, uh, I pray, and the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for the liberty to serve you. We thank you for the freedom and your presence, the freedom and the holiness, oh God, of your presence today. We bless your name. We exalt you, Lord, because there is none like you. There's no other God like you. God, we thank you. We thank you today. We bless your name, Jesus. Get the glory. Hallelujah. Get the glory today, Jesus. Get the glory for from this meeting. Uh, get the glory, Jesus, today. Uh, we pray in the name of Jesus. Uh, have your way, oh God, in our lives. Have your way in us. Uh, we praise you. We bless your name, God. Uh, God, I pray again that, Lord, uh, whatever we do, uh, our lives, oh God, will edify. Our lives, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus, will lift up uh, those that see, uh, those that watch us. Uh, God, I pray today uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we, we bless you. We thank you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's glorify him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for that powerful prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Rodine. Amen and amen. Praise Thank God. You, sister. God bless you. Thank you so much. We're, I don't know about you ladies, but we're having a wonderful, wonderful time. Yes, yes. Sometimes mm. in our lives that we're working, the kids, the house, or work, we don't have the time to pray. And this is our time right now. This is our yes. time to spend with the Lord. Amen. Yes, and yes. we have to appreciate it and, and have a wonderful time in the presence of the Lord. Um, yes. Right now, I want to invite our sister, Ligia Tenesaka. And she will pray for the evangelism, uh, a topic that is really important. Not, nonetheless, uh, um, the other topics are also um, very important. So, Sister Ligia, are you here with us? Praise Dios les bendiga a cada una de ustedes. Le damos toda la gloria y la honra al nombre de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Nos sentimos honrados de poder estar en este tiempo. Y vamos a ir al libro de Jeremías. Quiero leer ahí eh, el libro de Jeremías, el capítulo 1, el verso 10. Dice ahí en el nombre de Jesús. Mira que te he puesto en este día sobre naciones y sobre reinos para arrancar y para destruir para arruinar y para derribar, para edificar y para plantar. Eh, hablando un poquito acerca del evangelismo, eh, eh, vemos que eh, sobrecae sobre nosotras las mujeres, decía mujeres valientes, mujeres guerreras, mujeres esforzadas, como usted lo quiera, lo quiera recibir en este día. Ah, mira que te he puesto. Yo no sé en qué, en qué situación nos encontramos cada una de nosotras, pero yo quiero hablar sobre ese evangelismo que empieza desde nuestras casas. Ese evangelismo que nosotras llevamos para nuestros hijos. Ah, porque es bueno empezar desde adentro para que todo luego sea notorio afuera, ¿verdad? Entonces, ah, hablamos sobre el propósito que tiene este versículo. Es de poder reconciliar primeramente a nuestra familia y luego a las personas con Dios. Es una labor muy especial que tenemos cada una de nosotras porque estamos puestas sobre naciones sobre reinos y mire no solamente para estar ahí para ser exhibidas y para ser contempladas no nuestra labor es arrancar 
arrancar, destruir, arruinar, derribar y después de eso edificamos y plantamos. Entonces, como mujeres que nos gusta mucho lo que son los colores, los tipos de plantas, nos podemos identificar en esto. El propósito, recuerde, a reconciliar a la familia y a las personas con Dios. La visión, tenemos que pagar un precio. Cada una de nosotras como mujeres valientes tenemos que pagar el precio de la oración, la, la, el precio de la perseverancia, de la fe. Tenemos que a pesar de, de cosas adversas que podamos ver aún cuando estamos orando dentro de nuestros hogares, vamos a ver las cosas aún peores, pero necesitamos pagar ese precio de creer que Dios es el que ha prometido estar con nosotras. Entonces, esa visión sería pagar un precio. Yo tengo, un, yo tengo ese propósito, uh, yo tengo el propósito de rescatar a los míos, de reconciliar todos los días porque somos imperfectos y luego mi visión tiene que ser que no otro lo haga por mí. Yo necesito pagar ese precio. Y después de esto viene la estrategia, ¿cómo lo vamos a hacer? Y yo sé que después de tener nuestro tiempo de oración, Dios siempre nos va a poner esos diseños eternos. El Señor nos va a dar ese amor, esa sabiduría. Él nos va a dar ese de nuevo para podernos desenvolver y enfocarnos en todo lo que necesitamos hacer. Las mujeres somos una arma secreta por Dios. Estamos escondidas en su mano. ¿Por qué? Porque nosotras somos las, la clave para el discipulado en los hogares. Nosotras somos la clave para que nuestros hijos, nuestras hijas profeticen, porque qué estamos hablando, qué estamos plantando, qué estamos hablando por nuestros labios. También somos esas mujeres claves para que nuestros hijos y nuestras hijas puedan interpretar, darse a conocer los tiempos en los que estamos viviendo. Es por eso que dice, mire, eh, te he puesto, mira que te he puesto en este día. En este día, todos los días es nuestra labor. Si usted vuelve y abre Ajá. Jeremías eh, de todos los días en el capítulo 1, el verso 10, todos los días el Señor le está recordando. Ligia, eh, yo no sé cuál sea su nombre. Mira que te he puesto y qué estás haciendo. Es por eso que quiero hacer esta oración sobre el evangelismo que van a hacer primeramente porque tenemos que enamorarnos, tenemos que amar, tenemos que tener esa pasión como tuvo el Señor por los nuestros. Tenemos y necesitamos disipular, eh, enseñar con misericordia, porque si no lo hacemos internamente, ¿cómo vamos a tener misericordia afuera en un mundo que tiene tanta necesidad? Pero cuando aprendemos a más debilidades, cuando aprendemos a honrar, a honrar a los nuestros, aún en sus momentos imperfectos, Créame que vamos a hacerlo eso y vamos a aplicar afuera. Hay un mundo tan necesitado y nosotras como mujeres valientes, como mujeres guerreras, tenemos mucho para dar. Pero eh, yo quisiera que nos enfoquemos en nuestros hogares primeramente y luego todo lo que se hace en secreto. El Señor siempre se encarga de poner, de promocionar en público y vamos a bendecir a muchas naciones, a muchos reinos. Vamos a glorificar el nombre del Señor. Mire, por medio del testimonio de nuestros hijos, nuestro testimonio, esta tierra va a ser inundada de la gloria de Dios porque hubo una mujer guerrera y sabia que se levantó en el 2022 a tomar esta palabra y oramos en el nombre de Jesús. Soberano Dios y Padre Celestial en esta mañana. A la luz de tu palabra, Señor, bendito es tu nombre, te alabamos, te damos gracias, porque todos los días tú nos hablas, todos los días estás poniendo palabra nueva, tú estás renovándonos todos los días, necesitamos estar activas en el reino, Señor, es por eso que tomamos esta palabra como el ancla, como nuestra fortaleza para seguir avanzando, que en este día, Toda mujer que está escuchando, yo no sé si la que está aquí dentro del Zoom o la que está fuera, pero que se active su espíritu al mover tuyo, Señor. Nosotras somos coherederas de la gracia, somos mujeres que damos vida y tú nos has puesto, dice tu palabra, Señor, sobre naciones y sobre reinos para arrancar, para arrancar con sabiduría y con misericordia, para destruir a los adversarios porque no los vamos a dejar mal heridos los vamos a destruir y para arruinar toda planeación del enemigo 
todo lo que se quiera levantar en contra del honor y la integridad de nuestra familia, Señor. Oh, vamos a derribar toda fortaleza, todo argumento del enemigo y vamos después de eso a edificar en el nombre de Jesús con tu palabra. Vamos a edificar por medio de discipulados. Vamos a edificar en los altares de oración. Vamos a edificar, Señor, a los siervos del presente, Señor, pero para esto entiendo que tengo que pagar un precio precio hoy oh, no me voy a no me voy a cobardar porque tu espíritu está conmigo y es un espíritu de valentía señor y que esta palabra fluya para todas las madres que necesitamos seguir trabajando en nuestros hogares y luego de eso vendrá la promoción hermanas porque después de eso el señor impulsará a nuestros predicadores a nuestras predicadoras a nuestros esposos señor jesucristo y a rabosaca tarabacanda yo sé que tú señor Señor, tu palabra, la que has puesto en nuestras bocas, no morirá al implantar en la vida de nuestros hijos, en nuestros esposos, porque no es nuestra palabra, es tu palabra, Señor, y oramos, oramos por aquellas madres que así lo están haciendo, para que no bajen la guardia, para que sigan firmes, no importa, hermana, si estás mal herida, no importa la situación que estás enfrentando, la palabra de Dios está puesta en tu boca, sigue sembrando sigue implantando, sigue destruyendo, sigue arruinando planeaciones, porque viene el tiempo donde vamos a edificar y vamos a plantar. Este evangelio se extenderá para todas las naciones, un evangelio sano, no un evangelio que señala, un evangelio de amor, de misericordia, porque ahí es donde que nos acordamos cómo el Señor nos ha levantado, cómo Él nos ha restaurado, Él no nos juzgó, Él no nos echó fuera, más él nos amó y nos dio vestidos reales. Oh, bendito Jesús, que estas palabras lleguen a los lugares más recónditos. Despierta el espíritu de esas mujeres valientes. Despierta el espíritu y ponlos en acción. Arrabosanda, ramasanda. Oh, bendito rey de la gloria, mujeres valientes, nos levantamos en el poder de su santo espíritu. Vamos a seguir llevando esta palabra con temor, con reverencia, con temblor, porque esta palabra es santa. Oh, bendito Señor, todo lo que tú has puesto, has puesto en nosotros, Señor, vamos a trasvasar a las generaciones y oramos por las almas, oramos, este evangelio se seguirá extendiendo a los drogadictos, se extenderá a las prostitutas, se extenderá a los mentirosos, a los presos, o oh, alabazando a los huérfanos y catarabocanda en los ancianatos, ahí donde no hay esperanza, Señor, allá llegará este evangelio sano este evangelio que nos has encomendado para estos tiempos Señor, así creemos porque es tu palabra, no la nuestra y estamos paradas sobre lo que tú nos has encomendado oh sobre reinos y sobre naciones, oh bendito Rey de la gloria, amamos bendecimos tu nombre que sean alcanzados aquellos invisibles que están en los rincones viviendo del vicio que sean alcanzados aquellas mujeres que venden sus cuerpos aquellos niños en abuso, aquellos ancianos maltratados. Tú eres el que haces la justicia, Señor, pero pon ese corazón tuyo en el nuestro para no mirar solo lo nuestro y solo pensar en mí. Oh, Señor, haznos amplias en nuestro pensamiento, Señor. Haznos amplias, Señor, en nuestros deseos internos, Señor, que no seamos, Señor Jesucristo, egoístas con esta palabra. Vamos a sembrar, hermanas, vamos a sembrar. Yo no sé qué instrumento espiritual es el que usted necesita. Será una pala, será el agua. Yo no sé en qué momento está de su vida, pero vamos a continuar en el nombre de Jesucristo, porque Él nos ha dado ese poder y esa autoridad. En el nombre de Jesús, creemos y afirmamos que habrán hogares despertándose para la gloria del Señor. Hijos que tal vez han muerto, mini 
ministerios y llamados se levantan en el nombre de Jesús. Oh, bendito Dios, tú alcanzas, tú alcanzas. Gracias, Señor. Gracias que esta palabra y este evangelio se siga extendiendo, no solo aquí en los Estados Unidos, a nivel mundial, Señor, a nivel mundial, porque van a ver mujeres entendidas de los tiempos que estamos viviendo. En el nombre de Jesús, Espíritu Santo, visita hogares, visita mujeres, despierta esas armas secretas para estos tiempos, anda la voz santa, y a rabocanda, rabasaca, tarabacía, y en el nombre de Jesús, en el nombre de Jesús, hay victoria, hay victoria, en el nombre de Jesús, amén, gloria al Señor Jesús, gloria a Dios, aleluya. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Let's worship him, sisters. Hallelujah. Let's thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, sister. Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, ladies, before I turn back over to Sister Isabel. I don't know about you. But there was such power in that prayer, hallelujah, in all the prayers. But you know, this morning, um, someone said, the enemy is not afraid of us coming to church. He's not afraid of us singing and dancing and having a good time in the Lord. But what he's afraid of is us multiplying. He's afraid of us when we win souls, hallelujah. And that prayer of evangelism is so important. Important, hallelujah, because the Bible tells us he that winneth souls is wise. So as ladies, I encourage you, hallelujah, I encourage you this morning, touch someone else with your testimony, witness to someone else about what God has done in your life, what God has done in your children's life, what God has done in your husband's life. Tell them about Jesus, hallelujah, and see them come to know him for himself. For after all, God has saved us. God brought us out of the world so that we can bring others in. Hallelujah. So we have heard Amen. powerful Amen. testimonies from our dear sister Sophia, who speaks Portuguese, from our dear sister Rodine, who speaks Creole. Hallelujah. From our dear sister Jacqueline, who speaks uh, Spanish and And Sister Ligia, listen, there's a world to be won, hallelujah. I don't know about you, but that prayer, hallelujah, moved me, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, and, you know, pushed me on. We got to win this world. We have to win our family members, hallelujah. They're, they're walking, not slowly, but quickly into hell, hallelujah. But God has put us in the way to show them Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's be encouraged this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Isabel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Ligia. Thank you for the prayer. And, and as, as she was saying, we are brave women that we have to pray and to evangelize our houses or homes first, our families, yes. so we can go over there to the world. Amen. Yes. Thank yes. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So Amen. right now we have our lady asking it, Gordon. Yes. She will pray for the apostolic family. And I don't want to, to say anything, anything more because I know she will pray and, and in a powerful way, but the family is really important nowadays in our churches. Yes. We yes. together Amen. raise up a strong church. That's okay? right. So, lady asking it, Gordon. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord, everybody. Bless the Lord. Good to be here today. And I concur with Sister Hazel. As the ladies prayed, I felt the presence of the Lord, Hallelujah. the anointing of the Lord here today. I want to thank you for allowing me to be here today to speak on, you know, our apostolic family. Amen. You know, Amen. I went on and I was researching and I, you know, found out that, you know, not something that we don't know, but it's a group consisting of one or two parents 
parents and their children. And while I was sitting here, I said, we need to redefine that as it relates to our apostolic family. Amen. Yes. It's consisting of, yes, one or two parents who are saved, who their lives are built upon the apostolic doctrine and the apostolic Hallelujah. practice. Someone yes. who is filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost, who yes. is baptized in the name of Jesus and living that life that represents God. You know, the apostolic family to me is that family that reflects God. As said in, you know, when I was studying, I thought about Abraham. The Bible said in Genesis chapter 18 and verse 19, for I know him that he will command his children and his household after him. And they will keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he hath spoken on of him. And today I want to encourage us as women who are here, whether we are single parent family or we are a nuclear family or extended family, to let us get back the Bible way. Let's get back to what the family ought to be, where the man, yes, if he's present, he is the head of the house. He is commanding his family are right you know Cornelius he placed every single member including the animals you know on fasting because he was seeking after God and God did send him a man a man who told him what he needed to do and the Bible says when he you know he sought after God and he heard the word everyone was filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost that day. Amen. So the presence of the Lord is very much dependent on the family unit. Amen. When the father is standing in his rightful place. Amen. And once the father is in his rightful place, as a woman, we go back to Abraham. When those three men, when Abraham saw those three men coming, he ran into Sarah and asked her to begin to prepare. So I want us as women to be submissive to our husbands. Amen. Be submissive to what they are saying, especially our husbands who are being led of God. Amen. You may not always agree with them, but you must listen to what they have to say. They are the head of the household. And women who don't have a man in the house, you are now the head of the household. Amen. Command your house aright. Get up in the morning. Begin to talk to God. Begin to war for your children. Hallelujah. You know, children are an heritage of the Lord. The Bible says, and the fruit of of the womb is his reward. God gave us those children for a purpose. He placed them in our homes for a purpose. Amen. And so we need to ensure that they are given everything that they need in order for them to go out there in the world and survive. The family unit is being eroded. Amen. The apostolic family unit. We cannot allow the school to train our children. We cannot allow the society to train our children. We have to get back to the Bible way. We have to teach our children the word of Almighty God. We can't allow them to leave our homes without praying over them. While they're at school, we have to breathe the name of Jesus upon their lives. Amen. We don't know the things that they're being bombarded with. You know, the apostolic family is so awesome. I grew up in an apostolic home. Hallelujah. There were, there were times I didn't want to get up and pray. But let me tell you, I am so thankful that they woke me up and they taught me how to seek after God for myself, how to call upon him while he may be found. Hallelujah. Amen. And when the enemy came in like a flood, hallelujah, that God lifted up a standard. Apostolic women, come on. We're going to stand the throne of heaven. Hallelujah. For our family, we need to get back into the family unit. That's why this is Society is the way it is because the family is not doing what it ought to do. It's not being responsible. We are becoming, you know, laser of fear. We're becoming, you know, caught up with the things. I know we are busy. Hallelujah. Yes, I am married and I have my child and I'm working, you know, and sometimes we don't find the time, but we're going to become intentional today. Amen. We're going to become intentional after today that guess what? I can't afford for my family to be lost. I cannot afford the families of this apostolic movement to be lost. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It is us women really and truly. I can remember some women, you know, who would wake up the children, who would pray with the children. If it means while they're having a shower, you're praying over them. Amen. While they're having breakfast, you're praying over them. Hallelujah. Don't forget to teach them the word. Amen. Amen, because they need it in order to survive. So today I want us to, you know, talk to the Lord.
Lord. I want us to pray that we return to committed to God because I really believe if we are not committed to God, we cannot raise our families aright. Amen. If we don't have a relationship with God, we can't tell our children how to walk with God. We are a reflection of who the apostolic church is, the apostolic family is. They're looking to us. Hallelujah. Our society is dying. Our young people are dying because we are not standing in the gap. We're not falling into our rightful place and position that God has for us. So ladies, this morning, I want us to pray that the family become responsible to grow our children, not just as mom and dad, but extended family. I was in an extended family. Hallelujah. And I must tell you that I used to be afraid to go home in the evenings because my grandmother and my aunts would be storming the throne. I would hear them speaking in other tongues, but I was edified by that. I was strengthened by that that I won't be afraid some praying today that we get boldness. Amen. To begin to talk, talk to God, storm the thrones of heaven. Amen. For our husbands who are lost. Amen. For our children who are lost. Amen. For those who have gone astray, that they will return to Almighty God. And that wives, we become submissive to our husbands. And husbands would love their wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this privilege. We thank you for calling us, oh God, in this time, oh God, to begin to talk to you afresh, to ask you, Lord Jesus, to restore the family unit, the apostolic home, to Lord Jesus, restore, oh God, what the conquer worm has stolen, to restore what we are afraid, almighty God, to take a hold of. Lord Jesus, this morning I pray that your presence that is felt here this morning will, oh God, reverberate in our souls, that, Lord God, we will not leave here, God, the way we came this morning, but, Lord God, we'll be strengthened, that, Lord God, our husbands will love their wives, that our husbands will stand in the gap for their wives, that, Lord Jesus, they will, Lord God, command their household, oh God, aright, that, God, when you'll have confidence in our men, Lord Jesus, to do that which they ought to do, because when a man loves his wife and his family, oh God, that wife, almighty God, we Lord Jesus honor her husband. I pray this morning that wives will be submissive to their husbands, that Lord Jesus, they will Lord God take good care of their husbands, even when things aren't going well, so that they can win them to you, almighty God, that Lord Jesus, they will Lord govern their children aright, because the children is looking on mommy and daddy as the example, oh God, of how to live a consecrated life, of how to live a life pleasing unto you. I pray this morning that there will be love in the home, that God prior will be, Lord Jesus, the essence of the home, that Lord God, you will permeate the atmosphere. And Lord God, once the parents are living for you, then Lord Jesus, you can turn any situation around. Oh God, children ought to obey their parents in the Lord for it is right. They ought to honor their mothers and their fathers. Your word says because it's the first commandment with promise. Oh God, that they may live long. Oh God, restore Lord Jesus that genuine love within the family, that genuine humility. Oh God, Lord Jesus, the consciousness that without you, the family unit is nothing. The family unit is going to be dissolved. Oh God, raise us up as apostolics. Oh God, to Lord Jesus, go back, Lord Jesus, to those days when, Lord God, we are storming the throne of heaven on behalf of, Lord Jesus, our children. Lord God, we're taking back what the enemy, oh God, wants to rip out of our families. Almighty God, when we read there are so many different things they're writing about families. Oh God, we are same-sex families and all of that, but Lord, we rebuke that in the name of Jesus. It will never be named among us. Oh God, we will be conscious of what God has done, the gift that he has given us to have families, almighty God. Lord Jesus, let us lead our families aright this morning. Let apostolic, oh God, govern them the way we 
speak to each other. Oh God, the way we conduct ourselves. Oh God, the way Lord Jesus, we treat other family members as apostolic. Oh God, we're all equal in this thing, almighty God. And Lord Jesus, we want that your will to be done in us. Oh God, you said you will bless us. You will favor us. When you made Adam and Eve, you said that they ought to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. We heard this morning of the testimony of this lady who wanted to have more children. Lord mm. God, open the wombs of our women. Oh God, who want to have children. Oh God, so that Lord Jesus, their families, oh God, may grow and blossom and represent you in this earth. Lord God, we look forward to what you're about to do amongst us as ladies. Help us not to become Lord Jesus, laid back, but Lord Jesus, help us to become warriors. Oh God, help us, Lord Jesus, to put on the breastplate of righteousness. Help us to call upon your name, Lord Jesus, and Lord God, you promise the answer. Oh God, Lord Jesus, you hear the cry of your people this morning. If my people, which are called by my name, would humble mm -hmm. ourselves and pray and seek your face, oh God, we will hear from heaven and you will forgive our sins and you will heal our lands. Almighty God, we thank you for your blessings towards us. Oh God, restore, oh God, those places that need restoration this morning in our families. Oh God, those of us, oh God, who have not, Lord Jesus, spoken to each other in the longest while, almighty God. I pray, dear God, we return, oh God, and repent, almighty God. And Lord Jesus, allow you to do a new work in us. Oh God, this apostolic family must thrive. This apostolic family must grow. This apostolic family must meet your expectations. And Lord God, you will, Lord Jesus, whisper into our ears how we are to grow our children, how we are to maintain our relationship with each other. Lord God, we thank you for your blessings this morning. We thank you for what you're about to do. I feel an expectation of anointing. Oh God, I feel revival in our families. I feel a blessing about to be bestowed upon us. And Lord God, we want Hallelujah. to turn our cups Hallelujah. off this morning to receive all that Hallelujah. you have in store up for us. Oh Hallelujah. God, Lord, restore Lord Jesus joy. Restore hope. Restore peace. Oh God, restore the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Oh God, and we look Lord Jesus to you this morning and we'll be careful to honor you. We will be careful to give you the glory as we say thanks to you this morning. In the name Hallelujah. Of Jesus, Hallelujah. We bless your holy name, Lord. Thank you, we Jesus. Thank, Lord. Thank, you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Yes, ladies. Let's open up our mics and thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Yes, there is a spirit of agreement among us this morning for our families. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For that prayer. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus, yes, God in the highest, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, 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 powerful, prayerful families, build powerful, prayerful churches, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, let's worship him, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Sister Gordon. Hallelujah. You know, you know that scripture that talks about we, uh, us being examples of the believers. And I know sometimes when we think about that scripture, you know, we think about being examples to the ungodly, the people in the world. But God wants us to be examples right there in our home as women of God must be examples in our homes you know our husbands must see christ in us our children must see christ in us our in-laws must see christ in us hallelujah and we have to get back to the bible 
way, get back to the apostolic way. If we are going to see lives transformed and it starts in the home. Ladies, do not let your guard down. Ladies, do not compromise. Regardless of what you see, regardless of what you hear, do not compromise. I've heard them say, stand up, stand up for what is right. But I say tonight, stand on the word of God, for the word of God is right. Hallelujah. So thank you, Lady Gordon, for that powerful, you know, mini exhortation and that powerful prayer for us as women and for our families. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. So we have actually come to the end of our service this morning. Are you hearing me, ladies? Amen. Yes, we have actually come to the end of our service this morning, but I just want to thank God for what he has done and what he has accomplished for these last, for this last hour and some, it's nearly two hours, but I thank God for the prayers that were offered up. I thank God for the testimonies that were rendered this morning. Hallelujah. We are not going to be the same. You know, all it takes is one or two to agree. And there is more than one or two of us here on this morning. There were over 95 women who came on to the Zoom line this morning. And we thank God for that. Women from America, from overseas, we thank God. And I know lives are going to be changed. We are not going to underestimate what was done here this morning. Hallelujah. And if you want to go back and look and just, you know, get a little refresher and go back to, it's on Facebook and it's under um, Sister Garrick's church. They are the ones that posted it to Facebook. So you can go on and if you want to go open back door. and go, go over the testimonies and the prayer, feel free. Ladies, you know, we are here for each other. And I'm all about us covering each other. I'm all about us having each other's back because today you might be rejoicing, but tomorrow you'll need help. Today I might be rejoicing, but tomorrow I need help. So we need each other and we are going to stand in the gap for each other. Praise God. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you on behalf of our ladies, um, New York Metro District Ladies Committee, Sister Isabel. Praise God, Lady uh, Gardenia Nunes, Sister Janet Chang Ying, Sister Janet Lawrence, Lady Fiona Garrick, Reverend Janet uh, Chang Ying, I must say, praise God. For all those who participated, Lady Alejandra Gonzalez, Sister Hilary Williams, praise God, Sister Jacqueline Terranova, Sister Sophia Agidos, Sister Rodine Destin, I had lost it. Praise God. Lady Astonette Gordon. Praise God. Sister uh, Andrea Thomas and Sister Destine, Sister uh, Rodine Destine. I thank you all. Praise God. And if I uh, forget, forgot anyone, please let me know. <laughs> but uh, yes, thank you so much for being a part of this great praise and thanksgiving service this morning. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Lady Joy Dawson, who um, is not here. Praise God. But I know that she has been praying for us all. Praise God. Thank you, Sister Ligia. Hallelujah. And uh, Sister Jacqueline Terranova, Sister Keisha Smith. Thank you for coming on and being a part of this great prayer and thanksgiving uh, service this morning. God has been in our, in our midst. God has been here. Amen. And I believe prayers have been answered. You know, amen, we amen. overcome by our faith. We overcome by our testimony. Praise God. And I know many of you are going to walk out here this morning. You're going to go back to your housework or go shopping, whatever you have to do. But you are going to go out there with encouragement. You have been encouraged this morning. You have been strengthened 
because the Bible tells us that iron sharpeneth iron. Hallelujah. Amen, so we amen. thank God for this gathering. And at this time, you know, if there's anyone in our midst, you have a, a prayer request. Something is going on, whether it's in your family or whether it's in your body. I am going to ask you if you want to let us know. We are going to pray about it right now. And we are going to see God, you know, work a miracle in your life. If there's anybody, you can unmute and let us know. We'll pray for you right now before we close out. Uh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, I'm Sister Vivian Hyde. I'm asking, that, you know, I've been so blessed. I'm asking for prayers for my daughter that she may return fully to the Lord. Praise God. Her name praise is Sarita. God. Sarita. Yes. Anybody, thank you. Okay, Sister Hyde, we are going to pray for Sarita that she finds her way back to God. Hallelujah. Just like that prodigal son. The Bible said he had to come to himself. Praise God. And I, you know, I look at that, uh, that whole chapter talking about that prodigal son. You know, it, nowhere in the scripture shows where that father went out running, looking for that son. He took everything that he had and he went and he had a, you know, was living a riotous life, the Bible said. But I believe that that prodigal son's father was praying as sister Gordon was saying, interceding for his son and probably his wife, getting up every morning and praying, joining with others and say, God, you have to bring him back home. Bring him to his senses, whatever you have to do. God, let him come back in his right mind. No limbs missing. And don't bring a no, no, no sickness or death. Bring him back so that he himself could be a testimony to others about God's delivering power. So we are going to pray for Sarita this morning. Anybody else? Yeah, um, Sister Nicole, we pray for um, the Glenn, Sasha Lee Glenn. Okay, Sasha Lee Glenn. Yeah, and our, hus and our husband, Sean Glenn. Okay. That people come to church more often. They always say work, but pray that they return to the Lord. Okay. So that is Sasha Lee Glenn and her husband and sister. Sean, uh, Sean Glenn. Sean Glenn and his wife and also Sarita. Beautiful. Anybody else? Yeah, and the Lewis, and Mervyn Lewis and Steve Lewis and David Lewis. Okay, the lowest family. Man, this is Sister Sleepless. So I'd like you to pray for the young people from uh, Ebenezer uh, who have not returned right. to the sanctuary for a while. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask certain people to pray for these things. Praise God. Um, Lady Astonet Gordon, are you still on? Yes, I am. Praise God. I'm going to ask you to pray for Sarita, that she would come back to God. And also, uh, Sean Glenn and his wife, that they would come back also to God, be faithful to the house of God. And um, Sister Keisha Smith, are you on? Okay, Sister Keisha is yes. not. Yes. Okay, Maybe Sister Keisha. Here. Yes, yeah, Sister Keisha, I would like you to pray for Sister Siblis's young people that they would find their way back to the house of God and be involved in the house of God because as she said, they have not been back since COVID. And I know a lot of churches have experienced that, but we want them to come back because there is safety in the house of God. There is safety in the ark. All right. Anybody else? Yes. Um, good afternoon. My name is Sister Carly. I'm from yes. Ebenezer and I'm in um, study. I'm in college. I'm asking you guys to pray for me. Um, this, this semester is my final semester for my first degree and I start January for my second degree. But okay. one of my classes is very hard. So I'm asking you guys to pray for me and also to pray for my two daughters, Jessan and Jody. And they're in church, but you know, they're not where they're supposed to be. Uh, my okay. eldest daughter lives in LA, Jody and Jesse live with me. We attend Ebenezer. 
So just okay. praying for them that they will just continue to serve the Lord. Amen. All right. All Thank right. You. Sister, is Sister Roy Dean on? Sister Destin, are you still on? Yes, I am. All right. I would like you to pray for that last request. Did you hear it? No. Okay. You Sister, can, this can you, be want you want me to repeat it? Sister Carleen, I'm from Ebenezer. I okay. want you to pray for me. I'm in college. Um, and as you know, also to pray for my two daughters, Jessan and Jodian, that they will continue to serve the Lord. Okay, okay. beautiful. All Thank right, you. so let's let's get into prayer. I'm gonna can ask I, can I, I I'm from Jamaica and Sister Gordon invited me. I've been blessed, I've been listening in and a listening here. I just yes. request her for my daughters, Danilia and Colleen. Danielia and yeah, Danielia and Deidre Wadsworth. They were so powerful for the Lord, but they are gone to university and their lives have changed. They are going down a path that is not of God. And I'm troubled by it. So I crave prayer for them. And as I listen to Sister Gordon praying for the family, yes. even this morning, um, I am under attack in my home coming from Jesus. the hills which is my husband, I go to Bible school and I am in the third year. And believe you me, the second year was bad where he's concerned, but the third year I'm, <laughs> I'm truly getting it. And I just need, I listen to you all and I listen to Sister Gordon and I said, God, we can't do it without you. I asked Jesus. for my husband. The attack this morning was of such... But I said, no, this is, you know, standing here, it is too much. too much. And I said, I thank God that she sent me this because I oh, have been strengthened. I thank have you, been strengthened. Jesus. The fight just revived in me. I've got to push on. But the enemy has attacked from my husband. All about my children, my yeah. daughter, yeah. 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 So I'm asking for prayer. You know, I'm I'm in the house, bills are not being paid. And and with all that he's doing though, I'm just seeing God. I'm just seeing God. Mm -hmm. I'm just seeing God. So I, I have my testimony oh, because each time he does something, I just see God up 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 god just come up and i'm saying this has to be of the devil but you know you're human sometimes so it gets Hallelujah. to you yeah so yes. i ask you to pray for them because as his sister said they are walking down to hell and that's yes. my problem right now Jesus. Yes. 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 That's, yes. My yes. that's what bothers me most Hallelujah. so i ask you to pray for my family and the Lord bless you it was just good to Amen. be here this morning. thank you jesus Lord. and you, you're calling from jamaica Yes, yes, I am from Bless Jamaica. You. Okay, Bless so your sister, uh, Colleen. Wadsworth, yes, Colleen. Sister Colleen Wadsworth. I want yes. us to start with that, you know, a prayer for us. Sister Colleen, because I feel like it's an urgent prayer right now for Sister Colleen Wadsworth in Jamaica. I'm going to ask Sister Hillary to start off that prayer, please. For Sister Colleen Wadsworth in Jamaica, you hear, you listen to her request. I want you to pray that prayer of faith that God would step into that home, step into her family life, and bring about this change starting this morning. Hallelujah, because we are coming together in agreement. Sister Hillary, right Amen. after that, Amen. I'm going to ask Sister Gordon to pray for the, uh, the sister I act of to pray for, and mm -hmm. then for the sister Simbis's, uh young people, and also for mm -hmm. other, Darlene. sister, yes. All right, Sister Hilrich, please. Praise God, you're muted, Sister Hilrich. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Who am I praying for? I, I, I didn't get that, please. Sister Colleen, are oh, you did not hear? No. Okay, you're praying for Sister Colleen Wadworth. She is from Jamaica and she needs deliverance in her family. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. Just pray for her and her family, her, especially her husband, her children, that God would step in and do a work yeah. today. 
We want to see mm. that start. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, mighty God. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Even mm. right now, most high God. Mm. Lord God, we call upon you mm. for Sister Clarice mm. in Jamaica. God. 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 Praise God. Sister Gordon will now pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. 
Lord Jesus, we pray for Sister Sarita, oh God, ah, yeah, Jesus, who wants me, ah, Lord, yeah. God, Lord, God, Lord Jesus, who tastes ah, of your holiness, oh God, it's not your will for me, oh, 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 oh God, I pray this morning, 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 oh God, Señor, mujeres en el nombre de Jesús Bendito soberano Dios, aleluya, Padre Santo, aleluya, su nombre, gloria, Padre, que iremos, que tenemos palabras, Señor, por siempre en el nombre de Jesús, aleluya, glorioso Dios, gloria a su nombre, gloria a su nombre, gloria a su gloria a su nombre, gloria a su gloria a su gloria a su Gracias, Señor. Muchas gracias. Gracias, Señor. Aleluya, Dios, Padre, por mi hermana por su vida, Padre, cada día esa visión, esa fuerza, Padre, esa 
Father God, have committed them together for a purpose. Have called them together for a reason. Oh God, I pray, dear Jesus, whatever the situation that has brought them, God, God, not want to be in your house. That Lord God, you can like Jesus turn that around. Oh God, I pray, dear Jesus, that they will see you. Oh God, and understand that they are the Oh God of your eyes, and Lord Jesus, you want them, Lord Hallelujah. God, to serve you. Gloria, the gloria, gloria, to man. Man. There's such a sweet and gloria, to when I'm public joined together. Oh God, Lord Jesus, in meaningful, in personal worship for you. Oh God, Lord Jesus, we refuse to let the enemy have your people. We refuse to let the enemy take control of their minds. Oh God, we refuse to let the enemy to let God think that you can't keep you. you will supply. Oh God, I pray that they'll return amen, to you amen. even yes, now, Lord. Almighty God. That they will Hallelujah. return to you even amen, this amen, moment. Amen. Oh God, they will come to themselves the even this God. moment. Hey, and they will yes, return to you. Bless the name oh, of the Lord. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and we thank you, Lord God. 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 Oh, God, let this go, Almighty God. Oh, God, you gave them the Holy Ghost. Oh, God, you know that they could pray. Oh, God, bring them back to your alignment. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, we look to you to hear about you. 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 We look to you to from where they are to where they ought to be. And we call on the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 I think that's who I asked, right? Sister? Praise God, praise yes. God. Yes. I would also like to add for all youths and young adults also, let us yes. all pray together. Mighty God, Amen. eternal Amen. Father Amen. Jesus, we come before Amen. you in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Lord, oh God, oh, Lord. Mighty God, all praise and Amen. glory and honor to our name, Lord God. Lord, God. Lord, 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 Lord Jesus, Lord, Lord, I call out every youth Jesus, from mighty yes. Lord, yes. so you yes. 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 right yes. now yes. in the name of Jesus. Lord, 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 Jesus. Lord, 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 you know them by name, and you know them by number, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, you are Hallelujah. God Almighty, God, Jesus, we united with you, God Almighty, 
And I, 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 right after she prays, um, I'm going to ask Sister Isabel to close us out in prayer. Um, Sister Rodine, are you on? Praise God. And then. Yes, I'm still here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you can. Can you pray. Meet Yes, ma'am. Can I just ask a prayer for my son? He's not saved. And oh. um, my mother, um, she just had a pacemaker and um, just asking, you know, um, for prayer for her. And I'm okay. in school at the very moment. I have some exams this week and the rest of the month. So I, okay. I request prior. Thank you so much. Okay. So Sister Rodine, you heard those requests? Yes. Could you pray for um, Sister Hillary's mom, her son who's not saved, her mother? Yes, who just had a pacemaker. And also for Sister Hillary, who is in school, that God would give her the strength, Amen. you know, to balance being a wife, a mother, and a student. Amen. Hallelujah. That God okay. would give her the strength. Okay. And right after Sister Rodine, I'm going to ask Sister Isabel if she can uh, close us off in prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh Sister Rodin, God bless you. Uh, um, I'll, I'm asking that you all join me and pray for, for our sister as I pray. Praise God. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord. We, bless your name. we thank you yes. today. Yes, we exalt thank your name. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for one more time, Lord. Oh, we bring the glory of Jesus. You are the maker. Hallelujah, Jesus. You know us from inside out. You know us, oh God. You know our weakness. Lord, you know our needs. You know, mighty God, the things. Hallelujah, Jesus. We are in need of today. Lord, I pray for our Hallelujah. daughters, Lord. God, we pray a blessing over her, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Her going out, oh God, her coming in. Lord, I pray today, mighty Jesus. Yeah. that you will still protect her God uh, we pray oh God bring her uh, hallelujah Jesus and increase oh God uh, hallelujah Jesus uh, God in every aspect of her life God we pray mighty Jesus uh, and, in, and increase God spiritually God we pray for yeah. hallelujah. we pray mighty God that you will cover her bless her Lord uh, bless her God uh, God I pray hallelujah 
bless her, her son. Bless, oh mm. God, her, her mother, Lord, I pray. Oh, yes, strength, yes. I pray, oh God, uh, mighty oh, Jesus, yes. that you are the healer. God, yeah, touch her body yes. even now, God. Uh, I pray, mighty oh, God. Yes. The name, Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, Lord. Jesus. God, Hallelujah. even at his Lord, Hallelujah. God, I pray oh, for standing, God. I pray for Hallelujah. comprehension, Jesus. Lord, for every yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God, I pray for in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, that you will. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Every assignment given to you. I pray, God, for God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <inaudible> Jesus, God, I pray for good Hallelujah, I pray Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray, mighty God, for protection oh, in the Lord. name of Lord. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, uh, I pray, Hallelujah. Lord, uh, in the Amen. name of Amen. Jesus, Amen. and we declare victory. Mm -hmm. The day we declare victory, we declare victory, and yes, thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 In the victory. name of Jesus, we God's strength, Amen. Amen. Your authority today, Amen. in Jesus' Amen. name, Amen. thank Amen. you, Lord. Amen. We exalt your name today, God. We glorify your name, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We yeah, just, thank you, you Lord. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Rodine. Praise God. I like something you said. We declare victory Amen. today after Hallelujah. all that has been Amen. said, Amen. after all that has been, all the testimonies, ladies. We declare victory. Amen. Amen. Declare victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Siblis, Lady Gordon, all the ladies. We declare victory this morning. Hallelujah. Our prayers are not in vain. Hallelujah. And I believe God is going to answer. And praise God. Those ladies who we have prayed for. Praise God. I want you to amen, tell us amen. That after God has worked that situation out, please drop us a line. Let us know about God's great deliverance because amen. he will never disappoint us. Praise God. Yeah. End of our session this morning. And I'm so happy. I'm so grateful that we had so many out, so many represented yes. from all the sections in in this New York Metro District. And I know there are more ladies that wanted to come on, praise God, but they were on Facebook, they were on our Zoom, praise God, and we thank God for what was accomplished, amen? And again, I thank God for our ladies committee, praise God, they worked so hard to get word out to everyone about this uh, prayer and Thanksgiving service. So right now I'm gonna turn over to Sister Isabel. She's gonna close us out in prayer. And ladies, again, thank you on behalf Amen. of the ladies committee for joining us. Amen. All our Spanish sisters, all our Creole speaking sisters, our Portuguese sisters. And I'm believing God that the next time we have a multicultural prayer Amen. and Thanksgiving service, Amen. Amen. we will have so many other uh, nationalities Amen. represented because that's what New York is about. Amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So thank you, ladies. I love you, the New York Metro we District Ladies you. Committee. They, we all love you all. And <laughs> Sister Isabel is going to close us out. And that I love you too. Mics. After she has prayed, greet one another, and then we will meet <laughs> again, um, whether it's by Zoom or in person. I, we will keep you posted. Right? Amen. God bless you. Love you much. Love you Love much. You too. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we praise the Lord and we're going to pray to close this beautiful meeting.
Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings we receive. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We, love. we know Lord, you are you my thank you, Lord. Lord. And yes. you will work and you yes. will put your hands in every situation, in every prayer, in the time of the world, my Lord. And we know all the women for your love, God. Wait on another, my Lord. Thank you for your praise for the victory, oh God. Hallelujah for Jesus. 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 Thank you for the metro district women, oh Lord God Almighty. We thank you, Lord God, for every person on the line today. Oh God, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord of God, every family that have been tuned in, oh God Almighty. Oh God, we thank you for the blessings that you have already bestowed upon every family, every household, every prayer request, mighty God. Lord Jesus, mighty God, we thank you today for our women's fellowship. Lord God Almighty, Metro District, Lord God, Women's Fellowship President, Lord God, Mitchell, Almighty God, Pastor Mitchell, Lord Jesus, in our ministry, Lord God, Lord Jesus, Lord God Almighty, thank you, Lord God Almighty, Jesus, Lord God, Pastor Jarrett, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lady Fiona Jarrett, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, ladies, thank you, Lady Isabel. Yes, thank you. Yes. Thank you, Lady Gordon. Uh, Reverend Janet Chung, I know she's on the road. Lady Jarrett. Old for Jesus, the ministry. Thank you, Jesus. Lady Gardenia Jesus. Nunes. Praise God. Thank yes. you so much, Lady Alejandra, my good friend. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I love you, sister. Yes, and Sister Hilris. Praise God and all the other ladies who joined with us. Thank you so much. God bless you. You can open up your mics. You can greet one another. Praise God. Do have a wonderful weekend. And we are looking for.